issued by the trade department or credit department? Can you name the bank and then give me the answer? No need to have your name. Hmm? Credit, bank, department. Huh? credit department. In credit the answer, well, credit department. Yeah. Uh, what is the bank? Bank of Ceylon. Bank of Ceylon. I was about to ask that. Bank of Ceylon. Yeah. Uh, any other uh, bank guarantees issued by the trade department? I know Standard Chartered. Yes. Uh, then Standard Chartered, yes. What are the other departments? Uh, other, other banks handled by trade bank of Ceylon. yeah bank of Ceylon. you said uh, somebody said uh, uh, credit department it is in branch level sir at head office level it may be issued trade department and maybe maybe it should buy trade yeah. Trading head office level. Yeah, definitely. Normally, no bank is allowing branches to issue bank guarantees. It is centralized. But the guarantees will be signed and uh, issued to the customer by the branch people. Because otherwise, if uh, uh, a Kapitigolla branch, Bank of Stan Kapitigolla branch, if a guy wants a bank guarantee immediately, Within a few hours, you can then process it from here and then send the uh, physical document to Kavitigolda within half an hour. You can't. So in in most of the banks, uh, I know when you are having branches, they process in the central operations, right centrally, and then uh, send the guarantee, uh, guarantee to be printed at the branch level, signed by the manager and estate manager and hand it over to the uh, customer, right? But anyway, whether it's issued uh, by a credit or trade is immaterial, we are going to discuss about the bank guarantees in international trade operations, right? In, in today's globalized economy, I mean, today, the entire economy is globalized, all right? Actually, even I can't imagine any business around the world without a guarantee. Even we, for example, just see, even we issue LC, the issuing bank is giving an undertaking, a guarantee. It's a, uh, of course, it's a conditional guarantee. Uh, if the Terms and conditions of the credit is complied with, we will pay. Right? But in uh, open account, advance payment, collection, uh, uh, agency payments, everything we can handle, and it is happening in the world against the strength of bank guarantees. Right? It is estimated the aggregate value of guarantees in the range of hundreds of billions US dollars. Just imagine, not millions, billions of US dollars covering the obligations in all sectors of trade and industry, including construction, commercial lending, corporate restructuring, or structured finance all over the world. Now you can understand why some banks are handling bank guarantees at corporate level by uh, the credit department because if uh, if the people are coming for a corporate lo uh, loan on industry to do some industries or some construction then it has to be uh, handled by the corporate department then commercial lending comes on the corporate department Corporate restructuring of a company, corporate department, right? Structured finance, of course, 50-50, right? So that is why some banks are handling these guarantees 
at their corporate credit level. But I'm sure most of the banks, most of the banks, almost 100% of the banks have centralized these operations because of the high risk. Banko Ukunanda Pula may guarantee the game, right? Right. Now, bank guarantees is not an innovative instrument. It has been in the market for decades. Now, uh, if you talk about the history, um, I can remember uh, since I was working there for about 10 years in uh, Middle East, uh, especially in Dubai, wherever I go, I, I dig into the history. Because History is the most interesting thing to learn, right? Even, even, even in Sri Lanka, uh, uh, I think I, that's my hobby of reading the history, right? So uh, when I was there, I started digging how these people, Dubai, how these people have, are uh, so developed within a short period of time obviously you will ask uh, you will give the answer if i ask that question because they they are so rich because of the oil true right but the infrastructure everything uh, in early uh, late 60s late 60s that was the time even we can remember Right? Not you people, huh? only me. Uh, I can remember how uh, early 70s started our housemaids going to Dubai and other countries, Saudi and other countries, right? Because of the oil money. Then uh, our workers, carpenters, masons, they all went there, right? It all started in late 60s. In Late, uh, late 50s, in 1958, uh, 57, that's the time these, they found oil in Middle East. Until then, they were uh, Bedouins. Bedouins means like gypsies going from one place to the other. ಅನ್ನೇವಾಗೇ ತಮೈ ಒಮೆ ಒಮೆ ಬೆಡುವಿನ್ಸ್ ಲ ಎಗಳು ಹಿಟಿ ಬೆಡುವಿನ್ ಸ್ಲೈಡ್ ಹೋಗಿ ಕಾಂತಾರೆ ತನ್ ತಂಗ ಒಂದು ಇಲ್ಲ ಜೀವಾತ್ತುನಿ ದೆನ್ ದೆ ಫೌಂಡ್ ಆಯಿಲ್ ಇನ್ ಲೇಟ್ 50ಸ್ ರೈಟ್ ನೌ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಗೆಟಿಂಗ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಯುರೋಪಿಯನ್ ನೇಷನ್ಸ್ ಕೇಪ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದೇ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ರಿಗಿಂಗ್ ದ ಆಯಿಲ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಡ್ರಿಲ್ಲಿಂಗ್ ಡ್ರಿಲ್ಲಿಂಗ್ ಆಯಿಲ್ ರೈಟ್ oil rigs to Gava, they started drilling the oil. Now, they are getting money. It's like a flow of water. Now, these rulers, not like our people, they thought, now they want, the, the rulers uh, of that particular countries, uh, they, they thought, uh, now we should uh, actually, it started from Dubai. All the other nations, some of the rulers started keeping money in their pockets like our people. In Dubai, yes, they also they did, but they started doing something for the, uh, their nation. So they, they, were, they didn't have any airport. They didn't have any schools. They didn't have any hospitals. They didn't have any 
uh, road network nothing nothing right so uh, these people requested uh, the foreign nations like germans french english american then uh, uh, french people were there then uh, norwegian those are the people who came for oil drilling they they said okay okay we 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 will do the construction they started doing the uh, construction of hospitals airport and all those things airport tech had the 1960s well even got up to cut nai me ape cut nai ka airport tech ati no ratmalani airport tech ati no 1940s linda ratmalani airport tech api tech cut nai ka ati no adapi mukatta dathe how you must have seen the photographs of uh, you must have re, uh, read the stories of dubai airport how many terminals right uh, how, what's the fleet they are having emirates right so uh, it all started after 1970s so then uh, these foreign nations what they did was all all culprits they came to the country just to uh, just to uh, uh, get the money so they started starting the thing they first they wanted the entire money this is the cost okay these foolish guys they have given full payment to them they started the foundation vanish with the money vanish with the money right this is this is a story what had happened there and then only little by little these people realize they have been played out so they said okay fine uh, then at least some banks were there i think from the inception uh, hsbc was there uh, they were called uh, bank britannia kela like qa the british bank in like and britannia kela so they they started uh, they introduced they said why not you ask for a bank guarantee when when these people are doing some job for you ask them to give a bank guarantee from their uh, respective banks the bank is responsible for the money if you are advancing the bank is responsible for the money then you can sue them so then only this things came up and gradually it, it has spread all over the world right and uh, because of the, the global markets nowadays are very nervous and everybody aims to aims at security we are without security even a small amount or a short tenor business we need security right uh, for example if we say a major construction projects now very complex right and high risk endeavors the complexity is inherent in construction right uh, so what are the risk on a project construction project some of them we can list out physical risk physical risk is weather floods earthquakes tsunamis those are physical risk so even though you have promised to do something on a particular date it can be delayed due to this risk right then the labor risk strikes work slowdowns riots right lanka wage rata wal nan hari common make then human risk corruption vandalism theft job site safety lankave me okkoma thiyena lankawama ganna udaharanta corruption thiyena aandu yemana de duku project ekak karanna corruption vandalism kada kappal kari wada thiyena right badu horakan karanna design and technology risk materials process right kohoma de technology risk ekak design making wende pulong uh 
දැන් සාමාන්‍යයෙන් අපි අපි දන්න විදියට මම වැඩිම මේෂන් වලට නම් දැන්නේ නමුත් අපි දන්නවනේ මේ අපි අහලා තියෙනවා නේද වැලි හතරකට හෝ වැලි වැලි හතරකට සිමෙන්ති එක එකයි ඔන්න ඔය වගේනේ කලවම් කරන්නේ අපි සිමෙන්ති අනනකොට right ඒක ඒක වැලි හතරකට සිමෙන්ති එකක් දාන්නේ නැතුව වැලි අටකට සිමෙන්ති එකක් දැම්මොත් මොකද වෙන්නේ what is going to happen to the strength right can you remember what two three years back near savoy cinema velavatta one five story building collapse මතක දැන් අවුරුදු දෙකක් තුනක් ඇති වැඩි තුනක් විතර ඇති ඔයල ඔයලට මතකද පත්‍රවල ගියා ලොකුවට ගියා මිනිස්සු හතරක් පහත් දත් මැරුණා මේ ඒ බිල්ඩින් එක කලැප්ස් වෙනවා බිකෝස් ඔෆ් දෙ හැව් යූස්ඩ් ද පෝ මැටීරියල්ස් කියන්නේ ඔක්කොම ඉන්ෆීරියර් දැන් සප්ලයි ඇන්ඩ් ට්‍රාන්ස්පෝට් රිස්ක් material shortages delivery delays huh? then regulatory financial and political risk contractor insolvency and default it can happen so all these things can happen in construction industries so that is why the beneficiary want a, a bank guarantee to cover all these things right even uh, what do you call this um, uh, once you complete the construction before you hand over the construction you have to get a certificate a certain certificate from the municipality or local authority gewal hadapu katte danna lamai danno mokada ganne ge hadali urata passe api gi gillanno na bank ekata denno na eka bank loan ekak gattoth ema me හවුසින් ලෝන් එකක් ගත්තොත් අර එන්න ගිය හදලා ඉවරනට පස්සේ ගොඩක් බැංක්ස් ඉල්ලනවා මොකද්ද ඒක COC certificate COC certificate එක certificate of conformity ඒක අර ගොල්ල එල්ල බලල චෙක් කරලා ඉලෙක්ට්‍රිසිටි ලයින්ස් හරිද වොටර් ලයින්ස් හරිද කොහොමද ඒ ඔක්කොම බලලා ඒගොල්ලෝ COC එක ඉෂ්යු කරනවා right COC එක හම්බුන්නේ නැත්නම් that means it is not properly done so that's a the risk right bonds and guarantees are a common mame me ugana story ekak wage aran yanne etakota doctor ada patients you know meke adu gane lapunu pahe 10 questions hari eno aawama lapunu pahak yanne jeevithe marane athara marks pramaneya kari etakota eka patino bonds and guarantees are a common feature of many capital and construction projects as well as in contracts for supply of goods right normally these guarantees are issued to the buyer either the buyer or the beneficiary right on behalf of exporters or contractors if it is on certain goods supply of goods it will be exporters and if the construction is a contractor on behalf of the exporters are contractors by banks or insurance companies you see we thought bank guarantees are only issued by banks yes if the guarantees are issued by bank is a bank guarantee but insurance companies are also issuing guarantees the same strength but you you don't say bank guarantee it will say guarantee also shipping guarantees issued by banks use of guarantees in different business sectors construction yes we know pharmaceuticals how pharmaceuticals can somebody give me one example me ogula ogula dakina examples ogula ge jeevithaya ogula ehe aragena yanne kiyala thama man kiyanne ehe aragena evidindona අවුරේ දෙයක් කරනවා නම් යාළුවෙක් කරනවා නම් කොහොමද වෙන්නේ කියලා එක හොයන්න ඕන. That's the easiest way to learn. Pharmaceuticals. Do you know 
in the pharmacies in your area. In the pharmacies in your area. How they are getting the medicines, drugs? They get the medicine from drug companies. Now, uh, what the George Stewart's, right? Again, uh, companies only, Bowers, Igulanging, Iglo, drugs, the medicines done. No? A couple of medicines done, no? Laksa, Tulaka Hatraka, medicines done, no? pharmacy get them. You know, medicines are very expensive. To the tablet, to repair, have to have a CA. Right? A CA tablet, patch the Gagatago and Baragana. I think they were done up at They don't have money to pay. So that is why all these farmers, pharmacies, they have to uh, of, uh, give a bank guarantee to those companies. Bank guarantee. To pay the money in three months or six months or whatever the agreement. So they, they have given a bank guarantee. So only on the bank guarantee they put the stuff and go. And when they sell the thing, then they have to settle the money to the uh, company. The entire transaction is secured with the bank guarantee. Then telecommunication, the same thing. Right, a dialogue or give I may come bank guarantee sort of the man name. Four projects. Four projects. Now, you know, my uh, the famous one, Norachole Power Plant. It, it, it was under a bank guarantee. Uh, and I will explain to you some nice things regarding warranty and all when we are going forward. Right. Then financial guarantees to give loans or facilities to a customer, government infrastructure, doing the highways, uh, doing the government buildings. Uh, we need bank guarantees, extraction and mining, Bobola graphite, him, you are given, we told you know. And guarantees usage globally is increasing drastically. Definition of a guarantee is a demand guarantee or guarantee means any signed undertaking, any signed undertaking. That means a guarantee has to be signed. That's a must. However named or described, however named or described, whether it's a bank guarantee or insurance guarantee or nikamanikan guarantee, right? Described providing for payment on presentation of a compliant demand. Right? On presentation of a compliant demand, it will be paid. Demand means a signed document by the beneficiary demanding payment under a guarantee. Demand means a signed document by the beneficiary. The guarantee are signed. Any demands for the payment, it has to be again a signed document by the beneficiary. If the beneficiary think these people have played out, not adhere to the uh, deadlines, they will claim. When they are claiming, their claim should be properly signed, authenticated. Any questions so far? No. Thank you. Parties to a guarantee. Parties to a guarantee. Who are the parties to a guarantee? Applicant. Applicant is a supplier or the seller or contractor or data. Right? Beneficiary, either the buyer, employer, or creditor. Okay. Guarantor. Guarantor is the institution who has issued the guarantee, issuing bank. And some guarantees you get, apart from the guarantor, you get counter guarantor. Counter guarantor. Right? 
That means on top of the guarantee given, the guarantee is given on the strength of another guarantee, on the strength of another guarantee, counter guarantee. Right? Now we we'll just try to understand the parties little bit, little very briefly. The applicant of a guarantee is the person or the entity which makes a request to issue the guarantee, which is based on their contractual obligations. Right? Clear? Yeah. Then the guarantor. Guarantor is a bank, issuing bank. The guarantor is a bank which is called upon to issue the guarantee at the request of the applicant to the beneficiary. Right? The guarantor is under the primary obligation to make the payment to the beneficiary on first demand. Guarantor is under the primary obligation to make the payment to the beneficiary on first demand in the event of a default. Very important. When the beneficiary requests the money, the guarantor has to pay on demand. Right? Then the beneficiary is the beneficiary is the entity person in whose favor the guarantee is required to be issued. Right? Api Farakadana contractor Ganna. Farakadana contractor Ganna got a bank guarantee at the end of Api to Game Farakil. Gametina, Ulangi Gametina, Burlu Para. Burlu Para. Then, Paradan Diana. Paradan Nikaude? Who is Paradani? Contractor. Contractor. How do you mean contractor? Mantri Gay? Hincha Yegne? Egane, then a Gamay Winne? Mantri Tame Puranga Habu, Mantri the Postal Gabo, Mantri the Topi Dinner. In Chayek Tamai, Evnatan, Mantri Winning, Taksa Dapo, in Chayet Tamai, a big contract again. Eduna, a big Yantiki and Dona, Yad a bank guarantee at the ending. They have to provide a bank guarantee, right? Then, um, if the road is not properly done, if the road is not properly done, then he will not be paid, get paid, or uh, the road development authority can claim on that one uh, guy. But who, who gives the report? Even the road development authority guys are been bribed and this is what is happening in Sri Lanka uh, uh, been bribed and then they get the report and they get the money right beneficiary is the most powerful person independence this guarantee is an independent thing the basic feature of the modern guarantee is its independence from the underlying relationship. Underlying relationship is the their relationship with the beneficiary or the applicant. Right? The banks are now in the middle of the world. Third world countries are corruption is plus plus. So they always support the known parties, but really speaking, it has to be independence from the underlying relationship. This means that the payment obligations of the guarantor is solely determined by the reference to the conditions of payment, nothing else, right? And it has to be transparent. Guarantees on first demand, Guarantee on first demand are widely used in international trade and local trade. Right? On first demand. 
ఫస్టే ఓనే కరగనప్పుడు నా నమ్మది ఇస్లాం గ్యారంటీగా ఓనే కలిగింది ఆన్ ఫస్ట్ డిమాండ్ దే ఆర్ పేబుల్ ఆన్ ఫస్ట్ డిమాండ్ అండ్ ద బ్యాంక్ కెనాట్ హ్యావ్ నో రైట్స్ వర్స్ ఎవర్ టు రిఫ్యూజ్ ఆర్ పోస్ట్ పోన్ ద పేమెంట్ రైట్ ద బ్యాంక్ ఈజ్ ఒబ్లైజ్ టు పే ద బెనిఫిషరీ ఆన్ ఫస్ట్ డిమాండ్ ఆఫ్టర్ హ్యావింగ్ ఎగ్జామిన్ ద ప్రొవిజన్స్ ఆఫ్ ద గ్యారంటీ ఇట్స్ వెలిడిటీ ఎక్సెట్రా ఇఫ్ యూ గెట్ అ క్లెయిమ్ విత్ ఇన్ ద వెలిడిటీ పీరియడ్ will not be on demand right maybe a wrong claim that's a different thing right that is why i say having examined the provisions of the guarantee having examined the provisions of the guarantee ek validity are my balla to give one you know right now we'll see what are the types of guarantees types of guarantees we can uh, segregate the guarantees into two main categories one is direct guarantee other one is indirect guarantee one is direct guarantee other one is indirect guarantee direct guarantee let's see how it is happening we have the applicant right and then applicant is having applicant can be a contract another name is contract he is having a contract with the beneficiary contract with the beneficiary if you say the applicant is a a uh, constructing company of uh, road road constructing company uh, here, uh, there is a, there is a contract uh, to uh, develop a road so they have apply the tenders and now he has got it this applicant has got it may local guarantee now this is a local guarantee right and then then who 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 will be the beneficiary applicant of either mr perra again or mr perra is the contractor then who is the beneficiary if it is a road development project road development project rda ah rda rda very good rda road development authority so we applic- this guy has been asked to give a guarantee to road development authority that he is going to finish the road as per the uh, contract that he is going to finish the road on no before this date like out to gana adinde bane right so then when he is asking for the guarantee then this guy goes to his bank and instruct his bank to issue a guarantee issue a guarantee right so the issuing bank is a guarantor then the guarantor will issue the guarantee and advise to the beneficiary the issuing bank will advise to the beneficiary this is a direct guarantee make clear no other ఉద్యోగ Uh, get the guarantee advice to him through his bank they got trust and nanny so the ap- applicant and the beneficiary is there the beneficiary will request his bank the guarantor or the issuing bank to issue the guarantee so issuing bank last time what they have done they have uh, released issue the guarantee direct to the beneficiary 
instead of doing that, they will send the guarantee to the beneficiary, not a new guarantee, the counter guarantee can be normal guarantee. Ka. They issue the guarantee to the advising bank. Advising bank, that is beneficiary's bank. So they will authenticate and authenticate the message and advise the guarantee. Authenticate the message and advise the guarantee. Okay. For example, if this guy is in, um, if this guy is in, uh, beneficiary is in Colombo. The beneficiary is in Jeff Nakela or Trincomalee. Beneficiary is in Trincomalee. Right? Now, the applicant, the contractor is Maga. Maga is in Colombo. Now, Maga wants to give the guarantee. Uh, unknown bank is issuing the guarantee. The public bank is public bank branches. They guy to in Colombo, right? Public bank, they don't have, uh, they have one branch in Gaul. Other than that, they don't have any branches, right? But the, just, do you know that that's Malaysia's number two bank, one of the biggest banks, international banks, public bank. And um, so the, the, that's the applicant's bank. So they, they have gone to the bank the bank is willing to issue the guarantee. Now the beneficiary prefers to get the, and the, now we have another issue of delivering the guarantee also. Delivering the guarantee to the beneficiary is another problem. The public bank currently, they will, the beneficiary's bank is Bank of Sloan. They will advise the LC uh, sorry, advise the uh, bank guarantee to Bank of Sloan Trinco via SWIFT. Bank of Sloan Trinco via SWIFT. So they will authenticate it and they will hand it over to the beneficiary. Right? Only advising bank is doing a post office job. Right? Otherwise, they are not giving any guarantee. Post office job. Make a hurry at a LCA advice karma again with the This advising bank is not taking any responsibility or they don't have any obligations. Then the second one, indirect guarantee. How it is happening? Applicant and the beneficiary. Applicant or the contractor is in China. Beneficiary is still on electricity board. They are putting up uh, uh, power plant. They are putting up power plant. Now, the Norachula power plant take it. Norachula power plant take it. That is a Chinese company. So, they have CB wants a bank guarantee. But they say we need a bank guarantee not from a Chinese bank. They'll come out with all sorts of things. So CB is not comfortable with getting a guarantee from China and uh, take that guarantee as a security. Instead, instead of that, they say, I want a guarantee issued by one of our banks domiciled in Sri Lanka. Banks domiciled in Sri Lanka. On a claim, so the applicant will go to his bank in China, which is a Exim Bank China, Exim Bank China, that they want to issue a guarantee. And the guarantee will be issued by Bank of Sloan, Colombo. But they have to, so the application is for a counter guarantee. Counter guarantee has to be given by the counter guarantor. The counter guarantor is Exim Bank. Then the Exim Bank will 
issue the counter guarantee to the issuing bank. Actually, the real issuing bank is Bank of San Colombo. What is the security, underlying security? What is the underlying security they are having? Counter guarantee. Counter guarantee is the underlying security. So based on the counter guarantee, they, they will issue the guarantee and advice to the beneficiary. Right? Any issues on this? Up to now, any problems? Questions still on Questions now again echo. Content of theory, la. I'm not the Melodia theory, la. Monkey or no, Gulu hang in. Set up pistol hang in the Madras pistol, like you know. Then go get the hurry. Matter is slunk and a good duck. The Ramang and he did get Anna. Mang in the Gulu pistol, the Gandipa. I am Sakala my ticket. Right? But then I can't hear another. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yes, sir. Now let's. Any questions, sir? Any questions? Somebody ask. Try to. Tell no, me. sir. No. 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 Okay. What, 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 yeah. Excuse me, sir. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what is the what is the responsibility of the issuing bank uh, and the advising bank? In uh, these two, uh, direct and indirect uh, guarantee. Add. Uh, in indirect uh, in direct guarantee the previous one direct guarantee uh, advising bank. you get advice in bank <clears throat> under indirect guarantee you don't get advice in bank you get issue in bank right that uh, under advice in bank and advice in bank is only a post office job they are not taking any responsibility Without any responsibility on their part, they will advise a guarantee to the beneficiary. That's it. Like we advise a LC. Right? Here, the indirect guarantees, based on the counter strength of the counter guarantee, on the security of the counter guarantee, the issuing bank, the Bank of Sloan, will issue the guarantee. So they take the full responsibility. Now it's clear to you? Yes, sir. Right. Uh, so if there is any claim, then the indirect guarantees that we have to uh, uh, claim from the Bank of Ceylon, issuing bank. Uh, do you have to claim Tiloka. Tiloka, no, Tiloka. What do you have to claim? Do you have to claim this? Do you have to he got slightly in the claim of God, trust them three in it. Right? Okay. I never mind a poem of our girl. Uh, under them claim, I cannot. Then I get question again. Then the local question again. Beneficiary wants to put a claim, they will claim from Bank of Slav. They present the claim to the guarantor. Guarantor is the Bank of Slav. Is it clear? Because yeah, it's clear. Yeah, because that's a that's a bank who has issued the guarantee. That's a bank who has given an irrevocable undertaking. Right? So they will they have present the claim to the guarantor. When when the guarantor receives the claim, what they will do is they have issued the guarantee on the strength of a counter guarantee. Right, Tiloka? Then they will present the claim. Right? Uh, to the counter guarantor. Claim payment against counter guarantee. Claim payment against counter guarantee. Right? So they will send the uh, payment claim to counter guarantor. So counter guarantor will debit applicant's account, debit applicant's account, and reimburse the issuing bank. 
Then the issuing bank will vest the claim against guarantee and pays the beneficiary. Now it is clear, Siddhartha? Yes, sir. Very clear, right? Very clear. Step by step, Mangonna and the Lama Dunna. Right? Now this is how it is happening. Now you just see, especially Ape Misudanova. Are they in the Tamay Meva Karani? She knew the Kavishima Vedakaradi. Himokianda from the net, I was starting Apila, Sri Lanka, Godi Pathaking, other Chine, Kalagut, the Nitna, again, and the pay any day, right? Then Apiko Churna, Palmer, Oaki contracts and what Api, Yane, Api, Sas and Api, Exim Bank, Monaka, the Gladane, the mere fight current among me are given at them. My underpay CB can know in China. Gila by Gila fight current. Right? Then the guarantee, since you are very matured lot, I will now go a little bit deeper into this. Why it is, why is the reason, Kineka? Because senior bankers are in the. I be selected me to dialogue with senior classic and nanny, right? Other is there a rice colleague? Yeah, I get the mic. Is colleague Hilly or rice colleague and got over the make and the make it the very correct. You can make up. May me when we are issuing a guarantee, the very important thing is the jurisdiction of the guarantee, jurisdiction of the guarantee. If we issued the guarantee from China, they will say this guarantee will be under the uh, jurisdiction of so, uh, Republic of China. So, Republic of China. Right? That is why. The beneficiary wants a guarantee issued by our local bank. The local, when it issued by the local bank, the Bank of Ceylon, the jurisdiction will be as per the uh, jurisdiction of Socialist Republic of Sri Lanka. It cover it. It will govern under local law. Right, and we are safe. We are safe. We are fighting with Bank of Sloan. CB will come to Bank of Sloan and they will go even up to chairman. Chairman to chairman, they will talk. Then the president will also get involved. A finance minister will get involved. Right? Okumeme. Andima. Poralti gaini. Okay. What is the deal that can China take a bet? London Nick a bear, German Nick a bear, right? An AKP made the Yanni. Massive projects we always go with indirect guarantees. And how it how, how it is claimed now it's very clear, right? Security for a bank guarantee the guarantee constitute a major credit risk. Hence, generally, the bank calls for strong security, right? Generally, marketable securities are preferred. Generally, marketable securities are preferred. Okay. However, the integrity of the principal plays a major role in determining the risk involved. Also, the business reputation of the applicant, in addition to the experience and competencies. We have to check the competencies of the applicant. I think tender procedures will be a petina transparency. Muhammad Kela, a pure one of the rang a halatino parliament select committee. So, they are not going to be able game. Make a dinner, right? I may. Politics make a tagger and me. 
මොන ආණ්ඩුව හිටියත් මොන විදිහට හිටියත් ලංකාවේ තියෙන කරප්ෂන් එක. ඒ කරප්ෂන්ස් වෙන රටවලත් තියෙනවා. සිංගප්පුරේ කියන්නේ තියෙනවා. සිංගප්පුරේ තියෙනවා. right? do you know who build up the singapore to the present situation? who is the guy? can somebody give me the name of that guy who built singapore to this uh, development the present development ekata how they build up kare maave setu no lee kwan yu maave setu ngite chi ne right maave setu ngite chi ne he was only the guy who uh, led the revolution he didn't he didn't rule the country much चीने आदत ही न तो तेरा है भाई चावेन लागे का मैं 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 क्या चीन में सिंगापुर आवे लीक पानी हो हैव यू एवर रेड द लीक पानी का स्टोरी हाउ आई बिल्ड अप सिंगापुर ये बुक की क्या चीन हो राइट एट द बिगिनिंग एट द बिगिनिंग व्हेन ही वाज बिल्डिंग द सिंगापुर ही हैज told the people okay 30% of corruption is permittable 30% of corruption is permittable but not beyond that later when he was stabilizing the country when he was stabilizing the country he put a stop to the right country gara mudide giya ara pase he put a stop the same thing happened still am i mean a book uh, how dubai came up right recently also i read that one uh, for the second or third time it was very very interesting you know these people any country that you might be thinking only sri lanka is having corruption no every country even america even british a great britain when he dubai wala they eh rule kila thiyenne right ya mulida kila thiyenne 10% ne ya ya da me mehema okay for the locals for the local guys he has given opportunity to do the trading and he has told everybody who is involved in international trade or any construction project or anything any damn thing right i want 10% ada api illa ne horenne api ministers la horenne 10% yanne are open new form i want 10% ए टेन परसेंट देखेटा था माय मिस वैरे करे बट दोस पीपल दैट गाइस नेम वाज शेख शेख मक्तुम शेख मोहम्मद अल मक्तुम शेख मोहम्मद अल मक्तुम व्हाट ही डिड वाज दैट इज टुडे द प्रेजेंट रूलर शेख मोहम्मद्स फादर यू नो व्हाट ही डिड He, he was not like our politicians our politicians all those money has been transferred to un, un, num, numbered accounts in numbered accounts in swiss banks ekko wena wena koi hari thamai api gila addena thu e tika horeng ratem pannala thiyenne those people have spent that 10% to develop the country they have spent that 10% to develop the country and allowing the people to start doing the trading it's a very interesting if you can find books like that read that right exam get an ma but you can learn a lot how the nations have come up right etukada hitena ape gana apita haritemu duka hitena komala api meva karanne ekena ekak etara ara nay cutting pite wennema eka hinda may ara අපි කියවන හින්ද ද යාව බොද ගන්න හින්ද අ එතකොට මේ 
guarantee issue a security very very important then him and at time in the tower up there and the guarantees bank up a projects lost in me they 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 just pay the money without getting the uh, proper work done right right types of guarantee for a bank yeah. types of security for a bank guarantee uh, third party guarantees that is counter guarantees by a third party financial institution that we discuss cash margin or cash build ups cash margins cash margins can go with no. what do you mean by cash build ups people who are in the credit side tell me what is cash build up if you are a good credit manager if, if you are a good uh, uh, credit oriented uh, thinking of the customer we have to think about the customer how to if the customer prosper who is going to get benefit who is going to get benefit is it the customer only is it the customer only bank 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 you are working mm -hmm. so one day if you can if you can think of some of the customers you have helped help can me you have helped you have uh, helped him legally and controlled him and now he is in this position one day you can be proud of yourself not about the customer you can be proud of yourself thinking I am the one who supported him to be in that position. Maharaja gave story ke pahugis sumana deke tune de huani. How he came up. How he came up. He didn't have money at 17 years, 18 years. He didn't have all the money in his hand. Right? Kohumade Bansling Araganagale. He has settled the things immediately. So the banks has given him. So like that cash build ups when i was in the bank i I'm, I'm i always do this with certain customers with factoring guys uh in watch financing even give bank guarantee uh, a contractor what do you mean by cash build ups because always they don't have cash margins so we have to uh, this is one of the conditions when we give the facility to them. Okay, every month, every month, you have to deposit certain amount to a savings account, which cannot be withdrawn. Which can, which he can't operate. The bank has to get the uh, approval. They have to get the approval of the bank if he wants to withdraw the money. I think. Every month, every month, every month, every month, right? Every month, 50,000. Yeah, he will say, Sir, I can put it. Cash build up. And once you finish the job, 500,000 bulk, right? So, over a period of time, you build up a very good cash balance. The next time, when he wants, a guarantee he doesn't have to block his cash against the guarantee that liquid cash he can use it to do the construction work without blocking the money in the bank as margin so he can keep that cash build up as a security uh, if I can trust them, I, I used to issue guarantees uh, even not having 100% cash margin. Cash build up again, then 40% of the day. Mang Ekitiaga na guarantee it. Security. Tiaga, Araman said again, make it the Karagan and the thing. It is mutual trust. 
ప్రదాత హితాన్ని ప్ర కష్టమ కనే భూమ కళాత్రకిన్ తమై ఈ వగే మేనేజ్ కనెట్ట అనువత్ తియాని భూమ కళాత్రకి ఐ విల్ నాట్ నేమ్ ద కస్టమర్ విన్ ఐ వాస్ విత్ స్టాండర్డ్ చార్టర్డ్ బ్యాంక్ ది వాస్ ఎ కస్టమర్ హూ Uh, his business went bad and my outstanding was 672 million rupees this was about more than 20 more than 26 years back 26 years back 670 or uh, 620 or 670 million can more than 26 27 years back can I got it on that was my outstanding and at that time he had some massive outstandings about 100 times bigger than this with some local banks leading local banks right and um, i got a good offer from hsbc and i joined hsbc i had to uh, and i moved to dubai that outstanding was there before i left but uh, it was my the facilities were not given by me it was board approved right every so i don't have any obligations nothing but i have certain responsibility right so i told him look i recommend you to the board and all because of this trust so don't let me down you know what he did he had a massive factory the one one of the lead the massive factory construction uh, manufacturing factory he sold that factory and settled my loan 620 million but he didn't pay he didn't settle the scent of the local banks that was the trust between the bank and the customer right they can have a much similar the cash build up that not the again but I'm not the mommy have it and me have a mom of a talker and a matter whether got the one one day you are going to be managers and run the branches or on the department తోట బొడ్డ కొలుట గన్న మెసర్ కీపు దేవల్ మమ్మీ కన్న ప్రాక్టికల్ ఎక్స్‌పీరియన్స్ ఎగ్జామ్ గెలి అన్న నిమే రైట్ అపి మేకిది మే పోస్ట్ గ్రాడ్యుయేట్ కిది గిన గన్న ఓనే బట్ ఐ బిలీవ్ ఇస్ నాట్ ఓన్లీ ది సిలబస్ హౌ టు బి ఏ గుడ్ బ్యాంక్ యు అగ్రీ విత్ మీ మమ్మీ కిన వెరి వెరి పుర కినేవా పాద నత్తం కిలి subject no, no, sir, it's, it's very useful uh, sir huh? it's very useful sir yeah it, 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 it is going to be very useful to you people that i am telling this with my experience your experience your experience kari vada gattuna oba ogula kawadari then ape kala gihila api yore we are retired now you have to run this show right you have to continue this so you have to be very very eh hariyata meka to wenna ona ha bhai anavashya vidyata me bothulata adagonda me gonta ne me you have to help the customer and then one day you can be proud of them e wage ki dine kadda api tinnawa ki dine kinnawa hondama udaharana thara mamma ela about 3 years back i left the company where i headed the trade finance and uh, about two weeks back a, a guy who was looking after the account 
called me and told me, sir, so and so, that particular customer, we have a, a bad date. He's not answering us. His office is also closed, contracted. Construction stands still because of the COVID. We know that, but he is not answering. Now, what, what are we going to do? And uh, so, I, when I was there, I always try to give the best to them, quoting them the best rates, right? And showing them every transaction. Look, I have saved you 20,000, 25,000, right? Omar, Shailok, Kwagi, Masra, a customer you won't believe he answered my call and he promised me uh, Mr. Kaltar, nothing to worry I'll go to the company on Monday next Monday I will go there I am not in Colombo now I'll, the moment I come back to Colombo I will go there he went, met the guys, and he called me and said, we have discussed the thing. And uh, on installment basis, I asked him to restructure the loan, and I am going to pay that. That was the customer. The guy who called me and asked my uh, help, the credit head, to date, he has not called me. Unless I say then Tina Venice. To date, he has not called me. Whether that guy has come or arranged the restructuring part, and then Mam Wicharasa, the Mam Karapuzi, Matai, the Vedak Nani, how do you get a person? That still we are maintaining the relationship. Then we are talking about the security, shares, shares. I have making among Oakland again. I want to build a strong leadership in your respective banks. You are going to be the leaders one day, one day, right? Right? The uh, shares our security guard. Surrender value of life policies. Life policy ka salam sampune ganne surrender value ganne. Assignment over the underlying contracts. Sometimes they assign the underlying contracts to the bank. Assignment of proceeds, right? Then mortgage over immovable properties of the customer. Most frequently used guarantees in trade. Bid bonds. We call it tender guarantees. Bonds and guarantees both same. They got to me. I'm a Samala to Mamma Bonds Kina, I'm a letter guarantees Kina. Take a deca make a document to create you what LC go at the guy Eva get a man. Performance guarantees, advance payment guarantees, stage payment bonds, retention bonds, custom guarantees, other types of guarantees. Overdrafts are loan guarantees, right? Financial guarantees, counter guarantees. These are the most frequently used guarantees in trade. Now we will go to the question. What are the most frequently used guarantees in trade? And explain how uh, how the guarantees plays a major role. How the guarantees play play plays a major role in uh, construction industry. In construction industry, bid bonds, performance bonds, advance payment, retention. Other than that, what else? What else? What else? What Right. Maybe local. Itra ne mei abhi fitra tar tapi business kar raha. Construction kar raha. Abhi ekatti gela. Itra abhi ne bank guarantee. Abhi dende bana. Then 
standby letter of credit. Standby letter of credit is uh, on international contractor of performance usually can be through the performance guarantee or a standby letter of credit. Now, standby letter of credit is, is an instrument which is functionally equivalent with bank guarantee. Both are credit instruments and functionally equivalent. Same thing happening. Word to word same. Have I in certain countries, especially in USA, according to the USA jurisdiction law, bank guarantees are not entertained. They don't recognize bank guarantees. They recognize only standby letter of credit, which I have done with you. But again, the ISP 98 taking apically a standby letter of credit. Nothing functionally, it is same. Native among Ola Kiola theorem gunner. Mama example, he can make a public organ end now. Unfortunately, I don't have, unfortunately, I don't have a um, board to explain that the matter board he can look around the corner. Can you take a piece of paper or your notebook and then write down of him? Um, a project take a down import of. Import of Yagan, yeah, import of uh, Dal to CW to CW. It was rather if that's a mature note, may I get a hundred for it for another good import of the R to CWV. CWV is not importing. What they will do is they will call tenders. They will call tenders to, op to import DAR for them. Right? Make them the under uh, the world market rate is the it at Indiana the world market rate is these are assumptions, huh? May, may, hurry on, may. The world market rate is uh, US dollars thousand, US dollars thousand per ton. US dollars thousand per ton. Right? Then you write the, the second line, you write bidders. Bidders, B I D D E R S, bidders. Okay, Kiragala, then A, B, A, B, C, D, Palhata, Palhata, then A, under A, B, 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 C, C, D, E, Mahadamo, Pipastinic, Bid Kalatino. Right? Then, against bidders, you you write bid amount, bid amount, bid amount. A has given a bid as uh, 90 US dollars. There are 100 US dollars. Can you see the CWA document board? I don't know if you can see the document board. Give it the other man 90 US dollars. 90 man, sorry, 900. 900 US dollars. A big din damu US dollars killer? 900. Bid demand in US dollars, right? Then B has given their bid as 1100 US dollars. The C has given a bid for uh 990 us dollars 
D has given eight hundred and ninety US dollars. Right? The E has given one thousand and twenty five US dollars. One thousand and twenty five US dollars. Now we have over the Liaga A nine hundred, B thousand one hundred, uh, C nine hundred ninety, B eight hundred ninety, E thousand twenty five. Right? Uh, how many the, this Mysore Dal, Mysore Dal. From where we are importing? India. 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 Mysore Dal, India and Gain, what day? Canada. Pakistan. Canada. Canada. Pakistan. No, no. Canada. Two, one said Canada. Canada is a correct answer. Canada, there's a area called Saskatchewan, Saskatchewan is the same as Dal Gain. It is the same as Dal Gain. Now, you have seen, you have seen, may, uh, have you gone to uh, Kills, Car Gills, um, uh, the spa, in the supermarkets in the Glow Mark? No. If you have a little bit of 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 the black seeds, you get black seeds in that. In CW, black seeds in the dal, rather than the bear. Cargill's millions of black seeds, you know, I got the dal. But it's limited, very, very minimum, percentage wise, it's less than 1% right. Are again, 5%, 10% of black seeds, thin. Young black seeds, so the dal, the long, and long. Right? It's a quality cut in an air. We, th we, th we think this is a, they, what they want is a good dal. Right? Hundayava. Even a procurement team, a tender board, nega. what do you think? If you are in the tender board, which tender you will approve? If you are in the tender board. D. A. A or? D. Lowest. Lowest. D. D, 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 uh, D, 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 but but the, do you know that that is more black seeds than the lentils? We want the best quality. We want the best quality. E E. Huh? Thousand twenty five. Thousand twenty. Thousand twenty five. Nine hundred ninety. <laughs> Now, if I tell you, I can't do. B A can go to the other one. Thousand twenty-five, nine hundred ninety. I need to come here. But if I am in the uh, tender board, I will go for the closest to the market price is nine hundred ninety. I know that I can get the best C. Right? If you do make a Arguable, right? Me oglang oglang ma answers are very simple. Long tender board dekhe, wage uncle ke ne kinnu anang 
वागे के thousand one hundred ना एकात approve करना उगले तो लोने लंकाई वेन्ने को मुझे क्या एकात approve करना I think it's arguable but no no strings nothing अभी है तो ना उनके में एक nine hundred ninety के लो nine hundred ninety टू टप करना right so we select nine hundred ninety so can you put a yeah uh, yeah if we go for the, the price uh, other than the lowest one we will have to justify that uh, why we select uh, yes definitely uh, definitely definitely that is a tender board's uh, responsibility that again again tender board that they have to go through a technical team care they have to go through know. a technical team right ame kama dan o vitran neme parol hadana kota unak ehema para khadana kota unak highway ek hadana kota ki dene ogana bid kalada antime de chinese company ekata giya ne right api local katti ne de ogana hadanta ita da do ta ewa ewa ite puthe ahanna epa me kohoma de yanne kiyana eka api meke udaharana eta gamu that we have selected c kela the c kene ka सर्कल कलर तैयार करने, C की निकल सर्कल कलर तैयार करने, C is the one we have selected, right? So that means I'm talking about the bid bonds. मेरे को आप लोग कौन क्यों करने मांगे? मेरे को ना ताकर नहीं आने ने, you can read ने, now all the contractors, all the suppliers has to put their bid, their bid, along with the bank guarantee. otherwise what is going to happen if the cw says we are calling bids to import uh, 100 tons of 100 tons of mysore uh, lentils i mean mysore dal ke liye na lentils ke liye na paripolita lentils or dal to cw 100 tons we are calling tenders ila thi bo hama voxel street ke ha petting udhe de valete ana kota ඔන්න ඉතින් තක් ගන්නලා සලාකයක් ගාවින් බස්සකෙන් බැහැලා බොක්ස් ඔෆ් සීට් එකේ මේකට ගිහිලා ඔයගොල්ලෝ දානවා ටෙන්ඩර් එක. අන්තිමේදී සම්ද පෙට්ටිය වගේ ටෙන්ඩර් බොක්ස් එක පිරේ. එහෙම ටෙන්ඩර්ස් ගන්න බෑ. with every tender it is a must that you have to keep a bid bond or bid guarantee tender guarantee ranging from 1 to 5% of the contract or project value bid etakata bank ekey api 5% thiyala thamai hari 2% hari 5% normally yanne 2% thiyanne 2 to 3% thamai yanne ma 1 to 5 ekala thamai ekai e range ekey thamai yanne average oge hama thamai yanne 2 to 3% that means if you are bidding for uh, 100000 100000 uh, dollars ah uh, 100000 dollars अरे एक इन दो रुपीस ने अन्य रुपी वाली वेग रखा था ना मैं हंड्रेड थाउजेंड डॉलर्स के अन्य में जब रुपी वाली वेग का तो किया क्या ना होता है इन दो टू हंड्रेड फिफ्टीन के अन्य ट्वेंटी वन मिलियन फाइव हंड्रेड थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी वन मिलियन फाइव हंड्रेड थाउजेंड तो मैं मैं अबे बिल देगा ट्वेंटी � 645,000, 645,000 worth of bid bond. You have to sub, uh, keep it as a supporting document. Otherwise, your bid will not be entertained. 645,000. You have to keep it in a bank in cash, right? If you are cashing here, then you are going to have to pay. If you are not paying, then you are going to have to pay. You are going to have to pay. Every Tom, Dick, and Harry can. Bid only the important people, right? They are bidding. Uh, that what? One of them bid bond again. Dala area. Dala me kala. Then now they have selected C. Then they will inform the the tender board will inform C and tell them, look. We have selected your offer, your bid of nine hundred ninety dollars per ton bid. We have uh, accepted. Now your 
supposed to import the thing. You have to perform your job. Now you have to perform your job. For that, you have to submit a performance bond. Now for that, you have to submit a performance bond. Performance bond usually ranges from 5 to 10% or 15% of the contract value. Right? Then the 21 million 500,000 uh, 15% You have to keep 3,225,000. You have to arrange with your bank to issue a performance bond worth of 3,225,000. So you have to have the necessary cash or arrangements for that. Otherwise, you can't do the job. Right? Oh, okay. Now the C says, uh, oh my God, he never expected that he will get the bid. Now he has got the bid. Now he, he don't have the money to get the performance bond. Now he is absconding. What is going to happen? This bid bond of 625,000 will be confiscated. He will not get the money. The tender board of CWV will demand the money from the bank, where the bank has to pay that money. Then performance bond Then the next step will be the tender board will return the other the unsuccessful bids as well as this guy's bid back to them are a b a b c d e to the bid 625000 bid guarantees to return karma then they will go to their respective banks and surrender the bids Bid, bid, surrender the guarantee, surrender the guarantee and get it cancelled so that their cash security can be released. Is it clear? Till then, all the cash securities will be held by the uh, CWE. Right? Okay. More than him, Nathan, Samuel, Abidu, 990, Tibba, Tavekinet, 985 sometimes they they might go for 985 they will decide okay aragi ka confiscate kala they will uh, award the contract to 985 uh, in this particular uh, one there are no close one and they completely ignore 900 and 890 and the highest ones right so sometimes they might Offer to thousand twenty-five. And the matter, you know, na. Even they will recall the tender. They will recall the tender. Right? Okay. Then when the performance bond got, we got them there, right? A written guarantee from a third-party guarantor, usually bank, submitted to employer or beneficiary. By contractor applicant on within the bid, right? Okay. Then the advance payment guarantee. Now the guy, company C, now they want to open the LC to import stuff to supply to CWV. To import the LC, they have to keep a uh, margin with the with their bank. They have to keep a margin with their bank. So he they will 
Ah, CWV. Okay. Uh, can you please the make 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 dal ke na kata kare? The make ape tu construction ya kela construction ya nang ape tu sali. Ona mane stage by stage ape tu make kare ganen de make advance payment guarantee ke ona stage by stage janda tu lo, right? Construction road construction ya. Ape Islam ni lano? Mata Twenty percent then. Twenty percent then. Then I will complete that particular uh, project for the for a value of twenty percent of that value, and then they will ask for another release, right? Eva ge stage payment when that will come. Eva na ta mega advance payment guarantee. Eva ge LC get up be forty percent advance check in the month. For that, that C's bank, C's bank has to give a. They have to provide a bank guarantee from their bank, covering or uh, as a security for the advance they are going to get it from CWA. Now you understand the whole scenario, right? हमें मैं तेरी ड्रामे को क्या मंग किया कि नहीं नहीं तो घटा उगलने टे मैं को उगलने बैठे इंटे देंगो तो घटा अन्ना देंग मैं को उड़ाऊँ मां भी देंग अन्ने ए बैंक के टा पेस इक्विटी टॉप को मिलती है ना पे एडवांस पेमेंट गारंटी एडवांस पेमेंट गारंटी के लिए बैंक सारी पर्टिकुलर वा पर्टिकुल Right, if you have a misuse of the bank, you can get it. 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 Against cash. Bid then. Bid up in the now, okay. Free the now bid. If you're a good customer. Performance bonds, when we are issuing performance bonds, we say any amount, we need only 10%. Even 15% we issue, uh, keeping 10% guarantee. Okay, that's big. Or oh, even without any. Security we will issue because uh, if you trust the customer, but advance payment you have to be careful. Right? No customer is trustworthy for money. Right? Up to now it's clear. Then, okay. Now once you finish, once you finish, uh, then up you, I'm put that. अभी डाल के इसे क्यों रखा हूँ मुझे तो डाल कताव योर है तो उनको दी लियो रहे नाउ विल टेक कंस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ अ रिफाइनरी और अ पावर प्लांट ये वाके प्रोजेक्ट के लिए मेरे वाके में बिड परफॉर्मेंस एडवांस पेमेंट एक ना एडवांस पेमेंट चाहिए ना मस स्टेज पेमेंट चाहिए स्टेज पेमेंट चाहिए राइट स्टेज पेमेंट्स के लिए अभी उपकरण कराते पड़ते हैं। ना वांस वी फिनिश द प्रोजेक्ट, वांस वी फिनिश द प्रोजेक्ट प्रोजेक्ट, नाउ वी नीड द फुल अमाउंट, बट द कंपनी सीबी और आरडीए और पेट्रोलियम कॉर्पोरेशन विल टेल यू, ओके इफ यू नीड द एंटायर अमाउंट टू बी पेड, यू हैव टू कीप अ uh, warranty bond or retention guarantee for 10 percent 10 percent retention guarantee at the end one so that means for one year for one year after commissioning for one year if there's any defects or defaults then your 
compelled to come and do the uh, uh, corrections. Remedial actions, you have to do it. Right? About two years back, there was a power failure due to a uh, uh, island wide power failure. Karamea, not actually a power plant, machines so get upset. But we had a retention guarantee of 10%. Even though we have paid the Chinese company, uh, we had a guarantee. They have given us a guarantee from Exim Bank. So we told them, please come and repair it, or else we are going to claim the money. They came and they fixed it. So that is why we need retention guarantee or warranty bonds. Right? In this event, contractors and employers often agree to release all the so-called retention money so that the contractor receives the full amount of the interim payment at once in return for a retention or withholding guarantee. Right? They tend to be payable on first demand. How about you are clear on these things? Okay, right. Enang, uh, okay, a big part of the regular 10 minutes break. Yeah, the move, uh, make a theoretical long move. Then the financial guarantees, overdrafts, or loan guarantees. Uh, this is issued to support local lending by a bank in the borrower's country. Uh, the lending bank is asked to advance a specific sum of money by loan or overdraft, the repayment of which this which and sometimes interest is covered in the guarantee. Now, again, this one, I will give you a small example. Okay, when we were working overseas, we used to keep all our money overseas. Then on a Lanka, we used to keep all our money overseas. Then on a Lanka, we used to keep all our money overseas. I brought all my foreign earnings and deposit the NRC, NRC, and sure nothing to what he can keep agreement in the now after 10 years. What has happened after 10, 10 12 years' time? Now, what has happened? Can I operate my NRC account? Can I send my NRC money freely outward remittances? Can we do that? No, everything blocked. So what's the use of having uh, money in the NR NRC account? Even I can even I can use it to uh, one of my children's education. What's the use of it? Right. So we knew that these things will happen one day. So we always we kept the money in uh, tax seven countries. Uh, in Sega, uh, house made love. Mason Basunella, Vadu Basunella Tamai, Pitra de Gila, Hamburger Satim, Lanka, Tevan. The Apio Gimusu, Ivan in Apitana, Monadme or Tevinik. Right? Ganthi Vitamata gained Luna, Koma, Lanka, and Mangi, it has taken a geothene in the thing. Mamathi Revelai. Right? Thing Apitumu, Magi Saliti, the Munai Gila, I have kept my money in HSBC Bank, Dubai. It is lying there. Now I have come to Sri Lanka. Now I want to start a business. When I want to start a business, now I am going to Bank of Sloan. My Bank of Sloan, I don't want to go to HSBC Bank in Colombo because my business, I'm going to start with uh, Andhra Pradesh. Andhra they don't have any branches. So if I, if I am doing business with uh, Bank of Sloan, then there are so many branches every corner uh, it's easy for me so i open an account with bank of sloan and ask for facilities then what is bank of sloan asking me number one question first question what the honey the other one it's to tell among financing patangan then it's going to be a bag and then can one 
Magandahan na pala yun naman eh. Mangilano, may... Do you have an account? Ay, yeah. Do you have an account? Yes, I'm having an account. I, I want uh, 50 million facility. My account, I am having uh, 100,000 rupees. I want 50 million facility. Are you going to give me? Then do I have one? I'm going to count that. I'm going to count that. Then I'm going to count that. What is the security you have? Uh, what is the security you have? Otherwise, no bank will give facilities. So what is the security I'm having? I don't have a cent here, right? I have only 100,000, which I have put in the account, right? Uh, properties with Nair, they are Petra Data, properties with Nair, with Nair, they are Mukhada Then I will suggest them, okay, I'm having my money with HSBC Dubai. Can I can I get you a bank guarantee for the facility? The Bank of Sloan will say, perfectly all right. But that is like cash. That's like a cash security. So I will request, I will request um, uh, HSBC Dubai, HSBC Dubai to send a counter guarantee, to send a counter guarantee to Bank of Sloan Colombo, guaranteeing my facilities of 50 million. So my money with HSBC in dollars is safe. It is there. They will pay me, they will pay Bank of Sloan only if there's a default. Only if there's a default only they pay Bank of Sloan. Right? So based on that, we can give a financial that against that financial guarantee, the Bank of Sloan will give me overdraft and loan and other facilities. Is it clear? Right. If there's a default by me, what is what's going to happen to the Bank of Sloan? They will claim on the claim. Uh, they will claim on the uh, counter, counter guarantee from HSBC, which HSBC will pay Bank of Sloan immediately on demand. My account insurance has been on if there's a claim, please pay on demand. Right? So Bank of Sloan is covered. Make a good account, corporate guarantees or parent companies, they are sister companies. Right? Okay. Custom guarantees. Custom guarantees. The same thing happens when we import goods for Rio re-export purpose or whatever thing, uh, we will not charge uh, uh, under certain categories, we will not charge uh, the import duty. Import duty, custom guarantee. So we will release the goods on that guarantee and they will process the final product and export it, re-export it. Then we will settle it. From the proceeds, we will settle it, right? Immediately given the network. A re-export to local consumption product. Again, we will keep custom guarantees and get it. The only problem here, custom guarantees, unlike any other guarantees, the people who are having experience with custom guarantee, the bankers will agree with me very very difficult because these people are always they will not allow us to cancel the guarantees even on the due date they want us to extend the guarantees every year april 15th or august 15th the way the last day get a custom guarantee happy renew current loan custom guarantee i cancel and harima maori Right? The customers are doing in me. Okay. So let's continue. Factors considered by issuing bank prior to issuance of guarantee. Now, this particular uh, topic 
bank guarantees, right? You all told me, and that I even I know very well, guarantees are centralized in all the banks. But guarantees are handled by the branch. The customer interaction that is with the branch, right? The, uh, so the branch people who are working in branches, whether you are the manager or system manager or the relationship manager or uh, just a uh, customer service officer, customer service assistant, right? You should know all these things. Then only you can serve the customer well and you can cover up the bank's security, right? Even then again, you know. Uh, now you'll see factors considered by the issuing bank prior to issuance of guarantee. Now this particular part, your central operations cannot check. This has to be checked by the branch people who are having direct interaction with the customer. So you have to check and you, you have to inform them. You have to recommend the guarantee. Uh, then only these, those people will do the uh, issuance. The supply performance risk, right? Supply performance risk. Then, or the applicant's credit standing, applicant's credit standing, and the risk of unfair calling of the bond. Risk of unfair calling of the bond. That is also uh, uh, something which you have to uh, uh, build up with your own experience, practice. Make a matter of the Risk of unfair calling of the bond is has to be a practical thing. Because there are certain beneficiaries, certain certain beneficiaries, they are just calling on that uh, due date, even, even if the uh, customer has uh, fulfill his obligations, right? Monahari customer king, Monahari cut Borota issue. They call the uh, money from the bank. So when when we have a uh, uh, demand, then we have to pay, right? But normally, when we then when before we do, we just inform the uh, my customer, then my customer will tell you, sir, don't do it. I have completed the project and I have submitted all the details, all the documents. I don't know why these people are, uh, there's a guy who is handling the project in that particular company. Uh, definitely, he is the one who is sending this demand. My experience, right? Last week, when I met him, he asked me one lakh money as a pagava. So uh, I haven't given the money. So that is why this this guy is demanding. Okay, we know. So in a scenario like that, what we do as a prudent bank, we immediately go back to the beneficiaries head office and uh, we understand that these people have submitted all these documents. Please verify and send us the uh, demand again. Right? Or please confirm. Demand again. Please recheck and confirm. Customer Kila, Rata, Mehma, Aibang of Kumadila, Mehma, and Atam Salidin and Gilari, Givila, you know, Omari. Then we get the ninety per cent of the time, we get the another message from them saying that, okay, uh, please ignore our demand. Please ignore our demand. The Oka Nitra Menon among Tamara government organizations, you know. Uh, under defense, uh, 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 reluctant. Dila, Apita Hari, Oduka, Dehinda, Eva, Ogulangi, 
practical experience practical experience right if the bank agrees to issue the bond it will mark the bond value against the applicant's credit line or prepares for a counter indemnity from the applicant or generally the charges are on annual fee base on the bond value normally the value is uh, the fee value is 2 to 3 percent of the bond value 2 to 3 percent of the bond value we have to pay the bank right but it's some good companies we issue guarantees even for 0.5 percent but now look at him up my game up of issue around the 0.5 percent right 0.5 percent get him minimum but our commission is big because they are their contracts are big millions so we get substantial amount right there is a credit decision then the demands any demand for a payment under a guarantee shall be in writing all the demands should be in writing verbal no way uh, in the event of a demand the guarantor the bank should inform the applicant or counter guarantor without any delay okay they got the inform clip a with it once and guarantees are of two basic types the one is on demand bond on demand bonds it can be called at the sole discretion of the buyer without any supporting evidence of documents just the on demand right the second one is conditional bond conditional bond specifies the documentary evidence is a must it's compulsory the documentary evidence right uh, that means in the construction field like the coc coc is a must but if you fail to obtain the coc then the beneficiary will call on the guarantee saying that we have received a letter from the uh, municipal council saying that coc has been failed so therefore we claim money so that's a supporting document important uh, operational aspects of a bank guarantee right whether you are issuing the guarantee or not as a branch person you should know about it there is a format of guarantees all guarantees should be issued in accordance with the bank's approved formats those approved formats have been uh, scrutinized and approved by the bank's legal department because this is a legal document the bank is giving an undertaking so if something goes wrong bank is liable they gain the always it has to be according to the bank's approved format again a guarantee issue current up it a in a dime part in current up now format is there only to change the names fill in the blanks within 10 minutes you will get the three page guarantee type and own a format again I'm taking on a scam with right all right uh, but if there's any deviation to the format and if the customer says uh, the customer says uh, uh, one moment. if the customer says uh i want to have the guarantee as per this particular format this is the format given by the beneficiary then we we cannot say no but we have to re refer the guarantee format to the bank's legal department and get their approval right right wording of a guarantee there's no standard or international regulations toward guarantees therefore it could be worded freely depending on individual requirement right 
However, it should contain to indicate the purpose for which it is issued, the expiry and the conditions under which a claim to be made. Important aspects in a bank guarantee. Normally, these are there in the bank guarantee. The name of the applicant, name of the beneficiary, short description of the underlying transaction, requiring the issuance of guarantee, short description for uh, with regard to the construction of uh, highway from uh, Kadavata to Nirigama uh, sector. Date of expiry, applicable law, applicable currency, if there's a demand, everything should be there. Applicable jurisdiction, right? Format of the guarantee should be approved by the applicant and should be in accordance with the specification of the beneficiary, right? Amending a guarantee after issuance, amendments to a guarantee cannot be made at the request of the beneficiary. However, if such request is approved by the principal, the customer, the bank would comply with such request. All the amendments has to come through uh, the beneficiary as well as the applicant should give the approval. Here is a irrevocable guarantee. Claim procedures, right? Meva, this is important for your day-to-day -day operations more than the ex examination questions right more than the examination questions it's very important in your life all claims should be made within the expiry date any claims made after expiry should be rejected and not entertained is it clear right any claims made within the expiry should be expeditiously settle. If you receive the claim well, within the expiry, then you have to settle it immediately. There shouldn't be any hesitation on the part of the bank in honoring a valid claim. Right? Uniform rules for demand guarantees like UCP and URC, uniform rules, there are, there are uniform rules for demand guarantees. We call it Uniform Rules for Demand Guarantees of the International Chamber of Commerce, ICC Publication 758, URDG, Uniform Rules for Demand Guarantees, URDG 758, URDG 758, right? Now, I'm not going to... Uh, Discuss the URDG article by article, right? But for my uh, DABF and um, uh, what do you call this? Uh, uh, DIT classes, we discussed this, right? Ogilangi made 12 sessions will be 50 hours will be. Abhi you are DJ discuss kana maori. Again, the ma making question there kahan ne. But you have to have a thorough knowledge of your DJ. You can upload it from the system. No? Google karla. Ganda you are DJ ka. You are DJ 758. You are DJ 758 targana. Kyola ganda. If you are working in a branch, it's a must. Right? You should know all the nitty-gritty things about the guarantees. Right? Again, the make guarantee. I highlight the subheading. Right. That's it. Thank you. That session is over. Any questions now? Before I move on to the other one, do you have any questions? After the expiry, uh, there is a provision that uh, we can uh, the, we have to consider seven days for any demand. Is there such thing uh, after the expiry? 
after the expiry, normally on demand, if it is on demand, you have to do immediately. But there is no such provision or given days. Normally we say three days, three banking days, but seven days kila ekakna gandbe gatto tem samarlata seven days api jano seven days na gandbe seven banking days vende puno right thing ek ita vada vedu no those are practical practical things practice by practice we do but if there are unnecessary delays then the guarantor is liable guarantor is liable for interest payment or anything so oh, what, what, what I meant was, uh, sir, after the expiry of the guarantee, uh -huh. if the beneficiary is going to claim after the expiry, mm. uh, within seven days, after the expiry, within seven days, can we? No, 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 no. Claim, claim has to be, there's nothing like that. Claim has to be before the expiry. But within seven days, what you are talking, yeah, what you are talking is the claiming. Am I correct? What's your yes, name? I am Viraj. 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 Viraj, what you are asking is whether we can claim within seven days. Is that the real question you are asking? After the expiry of the no, after the after the expiry, within seven days, can we claim? Yes. Is that the question? Yeah, that, that is my question. Yeah. No. You have to claim on or before the expiry, right? But if you want to, between the buyer and the seller, if you have an agreement, a special agreement that you, if there are any claims, it has to be claimed within seven days from the expiry date. Kila condition nega dala tiyana then it's okay. Then it's okay. But there's no rule for that. And there's no practice also. There's no practice. Practice is immediately. Right? After seven days, you can claim. Within seven days, you can claim if, if both have agreed and if we have incorporated that clause in the guarantee. Even the guarantor is agreed. No harm. The, 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 the guarantees which we have issued for so government bodies is there and such like Yeah. Government bodies, they, they might be putting the clause like that. If if they are putting a clause like that, yes. Right, taken among the customs of Lahima Clause, Dandama did name, expired, expired them at the other than name. Custom guarantees. They they claim, even after one month, they claim. They said, no, you, Kalabana customs, it was happy, I would them, you have claimed after the expiry date, they will blacklist the bank. They will blacklist the bank. Right, even the government officers, yes. What you are telling me is correct. Uh, uh, they might put a clause that but there's no rule. A rule like anime. Rule like anime. Rule like uh, on demand. If it is on demand, on demand. But if you have a, a provision, that provision is there. The government officers in the coma, uh, they, they, are, they are having their own way of doing it. Thank you, sir. Uh, who cares? Who cares about the uh, rules and regulations? Right, Mama I took it in the wrong way. What I thought was, after receiving the demand, can we pay within seven days? Kela, immediately. Right. Immediately, but then those things are not going to be claimed. Can I? Those things are not going to be claimed. If it is a counter guarantee, if it is against a counter guarantee, it has to go through that process now, which we have explained. Right? It is there. Okay. 
can I move to the new topic? That is import export financing. Under that, we are going to discuss about the facility structure, products, and other financing options through trade transactions. This is also very, very important to the all your all you guys are I think different different departments uh, but I, I know majority are in branches handling uh, facilities and all right so normally a system managers branch credit officers credit managers they they handle facilities right so how we are going to structure the trade facilities is a must you should know and because of that, this is one of the very important areas in trade finance. And why it is more important is you are going to get a get one exercise, one question on this area. That means either a, a full question with a, a sum facility sum or uh, 15 marks for the facility sum and 5 marks for some of the theories what we are going to discuss now. Right? the Right? This time we are having a very tough situation now because of this COVID and the current uh, travel restrictions and with with my age and everything, my home people doesn't want me to go out and do the lectures. Obvious, now I am. Almost 70, 72 was sitting up in a high risk category. Neither they came the matter, board deck use for only the other name. Board deck in a tube Ganang Gananiga Koho the Gila Mamma, Kalpanagar, name and the name here. He in a nut Kalpanagar, he in a deck of what a solution they got. They will be Kalpanagar and Udiagan. I mean, I'm going to go home with the king again. I got a solution like a deck, I be a cat. Possible solution that way, he in the cat. He in a hundred way, other than a me hit the other trigger of a land on. Over the step by step, I got the agony again. I'm not a computer man, but if I can get some assistance from somebody, then I can do something and say, uh, teach you the sums. From home, it's better to have it step by step, right? I think what I cut here, we will be able to get the parcel of the team, the ABF trade. Yes, 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 yeah, the ABF trade will be an uncle and either be. Facility Ghana Kalan, yes, sir. Who is the boss? Who is the boss? The Hanami. Sir, no, no. Anything Ghana can tell me, maybe the pain with it. Hm? There's Darcy. There's Darcy, you know, Matagadina. You know, there's Darcy Matagadina, if you're Matame. Okay, ma'am. Nineteen seventy-two. Well, among me, girl, who physics can only matter matter guy. Me, me, boil gini me ahi, arvai me vai me, eva can only do. Hmm. Jab eva, apne tamam matter guy. Then he can only chhod gal da urdu. Kya kila? Panasgana killed Mataka, the Hina, the Azdasi, Mataka, the Hina, Mamik, Gladabasi, we can take Kurmu, 
కమ్మి భయం భయం ఇది ఏ కాదు మన దాన్ని మెజారిటీ కల్లో తీను ఐ ట్రై టు ఎక్స్ప్లెయిన్ టు యూ రెస్మ జస్ట్ పాసిబుల్ బలు మరి హీనే దక్క కత్ కరగన పులం వీదిగల కోమరి మెతడ్డగా రైట్ ఒచ్చర ఒలివే తియాగనది ఇన్నే రమై గన ఏకదా వెలా తిన అపిడ ఓన్ వడా కితన రైట్ ఓకే అండర్ దిస్ వి ఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు లెర్న్ షార్ట్ టర్మ్ మీడియం టర్మ్ అండ్ లాంగ్ టర్మ్ ట్రేడ్ ఫైనాన్స్ అండ్ దెన్ కన్సెప్ట్ ఆఫ్ ట్రేడ్ సైకిల్ వెరీ ఇంపార్టెంట్ థింగ్ దెన్ వెన్ షార్ట్ టర్మ్ ఫైనాన్స్ ఈస్ రిక్వైర్డ్ రైట్ వేరియస్ టైప్స్ ఆఫ్ షార్ట్ టర్మ్ ఫైనాన్స్ అవైలబుల్ ఫర్ అ బిజినెస్ the difference between pre ship and then post ship and finance with recourse and without recourse financing right various forms of longer term finance available and invoice financing supply credit and buyer credit it copy karna abai meke monohara dak thiyena nan ogla mata just stop me and ask right because the thing is um if you have done facility sums earlier you all have done definitely uh, when you got through your dabf right then only the uh, campus students are having this issue otherwise well, most of the bankers i know this is a pre requirement that you should complete your exams before you do the post graduate right so it's easy for me but you can stop me and check uh, discuss the things because why i am telling you is 90% of the you guys have not followed class you have done it on your own right just doing the past papers try to grab the thing and go home are a to what a gala paper again you are going to be going to pass you know but you haven't got the basic principles so today you are going to learn if you are not learn today you are going to learn the basic principles right okay those basic principles are very important then doing the sum and getting through the exam because those principles are golden rules for you to run the departments run the branch right that is why it is very important man gore man ogulang tani karama hitanne issara hata api banking sector ekke stars rakhite you are the people who are going to take over the operations right so you are the stars so i think the ogle hitanlo ne me gana karanna me bank with ganam karanna hambe denne ani bank with ganam karanna denne bank with denne me facility ga denne pulan de kenne anne ekay balanno right there are so many people in two leading banks two leading um, local banks in currently there are two uh, uh, oh denne kinna deputy ceo sir to whom i have trained who train under me in banking trade right mada santosh aithe eva ఓ తమే అప్పుడు సంతోష తీయండి మంకోన గారు ముడి దిగు అని మేము దక్కాం అప్పుడు సంతోష అయ్యా అప్పుడు తిన ఎక్కువ సంతోష అయ్యాయి రైట్ దే బోత్ టెల్స్ దట్ ఇన్ ఫ్రంట్ ఆఫ్ ఎవ్రీ బాడీ ఇన్ దియర్ స్టాఫ్ ఇన్ ఫ్రంట్ ఆఫ్ దియర్ స్టాఫ్ దేస్ ఇట్ చాలా రైస్ అవర్ గురు హీ టాట్ మీ ఇంటర్నేషనల్ ట్రేడ్ నెటి గ్రిటి థింగ్స్ ఆన్ ఇంటర్నేషనల్ ట్రేడ్ లాంగ్ టైమ్ బ్యాక్ right now they are deputy ceos and next 
step is the CEOs of the two respective bank leading leading commercial banks. Right? Having branches all over the country. ट्रांसक्शन Examples? Non LC. Non LC. I'm going to give you another one. Documentary. Document. Documentary. Non documentary. Non documentary. What are they? What are they? Export loans. Uh, give me an example. Uh, export loans. Direct sales. No, uh, no, 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 no. non non dc back transactions they are not backed by lcs that means uh, without a lc they have a business uh, document that means transaction agreement to do a trade no oh, uh, uh, we just just think about ah uh, on the on the question i mean put the question like then ogulo wrong track kana think about the payment methods what are the non dc back transactions ट्रांसक्शन कोई देखा थे मैंने चीज़ वाली ना इन्वेंट्री और रिसीवेबल फाइनेंसिंग इन्वेंट्री और रिसीवेबल फाइनेंसिंग राइट दैट इस फैक्टरिंग वो ओपन अकाउंट ट्रांसफर फैक्टरिंग इनवॉइस फाइनेंसिंग राइट ये रहता है देन अनदर वन इस फॉरफेटिंग फॉरफेटिंग वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट इट फॉर Selling your debts to other parties, right? That you have never learned. But I don't know. Uh, forfeiting is there in the BABF syllabus, right? If if you have learned under a good uh, master, you may have learned about it. Otherwise, we'll try to learn forfeiting. forfeiting can be discounting of trade debts discounting of trade debts right okay now the first one uh okay if you are working in a branch the customer will come to you the customer will come to you matana ogona tarang vela thina ogana vela athi meet the passe ogulo you have to be more methodical you have to be more methodical right when you are dealing with customers so he will come and ask you uh abhi to more tilo ka ne this lady had do tilo ka in now as the system manager so one of your good customers one of your good customers so uh, he comes directly to your table or something or your table and will tell you uh, miss i wanted to do some uh, he, was, he was a good customer with you he will tell you i wanted to do some imports now sorry i wanted to manufacture shoes i wanted to manufacture shoes right ogula danne small scale shoes sadana amadana ma eka godak karra I wanted to manufacture shoes and put it to local market first, right? Put it to local market, and uh, subsequently I will 
start exporting the things. Then he will come and ask for a facility. So when a customer like that comes to you, you have to ask him a simple set of questions. First one is, what do you sell? So what's the customer's answer? The other example like that, manufacturing shoes, industry. What do you sell? Then the customer will tell you, he's going to sell. What? He's going to sell what? Shoes. He's going to sell shoes. Right? Then, ah, I'm, you are going to manufacture. Then you have to ask, what is involved in producing it? And make questions. You will not have to ask me. You will not have to ask me. You will not example like it. You will not have to Right? Uh, what is involved in producing it? Then, okay, if if you are the customer, what are what is the answer you are going to give to me? Tell me, we'll have a role play. My manager classic make a look and not a role play. Karagan, one thing I'm going to I think customers love again. Right? What is involved in producing it? Right? Raw materials. Oh, raw materials. What is involved in producing? Huh? Leather. 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 Then? Soul. Soul. Very good. Very good. Maybe. Kill the one. Hold on Labor. Leather. Leather. Lace. Labor. Yes. Winner. Buttons. 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 So now, that the are the right? Packing. Packing. Very good. Anna. Mande. Entrepreneur. Can it? Or Israel? Alpana. Karna. Nikamba. Chapatu. Adala. Sir. Sir. Bagi. Adala. Visigaran. Nabe. Ani. Yet. You have a packing material. Right. And you have to mention like that. Then you have to ask the customer, who do you buy from? Then you have to give me the answer. It's like a role play. Ask you to give me a role play. Interesting and you are at it. Who do you buy from? From local market. Uh, yeah, maybe yeah, he will answer from local supplier. Or if you want to buy in a, a lower import. price, huh? import. yeah, he can he can import. He can import, right? He can import. What I say, what a hundred plant. Iga veke. Me ekka question ne karne me ya. Aga na aga na aga na na. I'm I'm going to import the raw materials. Uh, so. so from where? China. Yeah. China. Then, then you will say, uh, China le da ke na utna ngar. Me sabatu ke reward pas ekanda ke hano. Me speaking dhanna nee me sabatu thi na nee. Ye sabatu dalo kono bagi hilna aur pas se. Hadi seva. Kanda ke hano tam plain ne ke samarad da tam me plain ne ke na gar pas se. Samar means long trips. So, the limit of the Galona be a pimnisu. I have a policy to take out the negative in the bed. When I'm a house to attack a lemon, those that could have a trunk with a monk, Katagala Gilatina, may spray current negil a perfume. That's the bind. The Samanin on the leather monarch in the team. India, 
Ghana. Pakistan. India, Pakistan, very good. Api henge no. So we are getting from Pakistan. Then you will say lace and buttons and sole. I am going to get it from China. So different, different countries you are going to get. And sell to. To whom you are going to sell to? So you will tell them, I'm going to sell to the local market as well as a, a part I'm going to export. Right? Local market, I have uh, certain uh, agents. So through those agents, I'm going to put it to the local market. But uh, another 30%, initially 30% of 40%, I'm going to export. To which countries? Then you will say Maldives, uh, Bhutan, uh, Nepal, Then on what terms? How do you sell them? On what terms? Is it DP terms? On collection? Under LCs? Business Patangan is So you have to go with the yeah, business plan. Then as a banker, you have to ask all those things before you decide, right? Uh, in order to evaluate the type and amount of trade facilities a business requires, more detailed discussion must include. What term This is not the only thing. Huh? This is only a guideline. Then. When, when the customer mentioned about the suppliers, what payment method? So he, you said, uh, not you, the yeah, Ogland then come, customer, neither. you said uh, you are importing uh, raw material uh, leather from uh, Taiwan or even uh, leather from India and Pakistan, right? So what are the suppliers? Indian leather company, uh, Lahore leather company, then you will say, right? On what payment methods? So how we are going to get them? If it is on advanced payment, open account, right? Then amounts, what are the amounts? And period of period of credit you are going to get. If it is under collection, is it DA or DP? DP nang amore, DP nang banking immediately sell the one dollar. DA nang, what's the period of credit? 90 days DA, 60 days DA. You are going to get a credit period. Like that, you have to ask all those questions. Then you have to plan it out, right? The Kapata Sali then facility at the end of the Then you have to ask questions about your customer. You have to ask the customer, what is their production cycle? What do you mean by production cycle? When they order the, when they order the goods, when they order the goods, if the goods has been uh, to import, right? If you have to open LCs, from the day you open the LC, there's a liability from the customer until you get the money for your product, right? That period is the product production cycle. From my production cycle, like, I have to cover the current loans. Then, who are your buyers, right? Who are the people? Are you, uh, are you selling to uh, DSI? Some are cutting, you know, but DSI, okay, uh, shoes, DSI shoes, Mama Gilatina Magi customers at that. When I am doing customer visits, not a few years back, I went to one of the customers at Piliandela. Piliandela. He is the one who is producing shoes for DSI. DSI brand, right? We don't have to worry about the money. Ni. Right? Then, if collection, what is the percentage on DP and DA? Right? 
when we are selling, it is better to get in get the money in advance, right? Then which transport documents are used? Whether it's sea shipment or by truck, by air, you have to check. If it is sea shipment, you get bill of lading. Bill of lading again, uh, you got title document there. There's some security for the bank. Right? So that is why we have to ask all those questions. Where are the buyers located? And how soon can the documents be delivered to them? Via collecting bank, if it is under collection. Right? Uh, uh, customer connect man visit kala eight pillion the repetima. Eight pillion the repetima. That guy was producing, manufacturing, uh, ladies' handbags and ladies' belt. Ekaye may another girls' lap, placenta, fashionable, may have a sex or gay leg and any, pretty much thing, dagane, placenta. Coma design design material design can be branded deva and they are exporting to um, Italy. Can you imagine? They are exporting to Italy, may export color Yavani, Api Kohari Ratagata Gila, especially when you go to uh, uh, countries like. Uh, Bangkok and all, right? A Bangkok will have a brand branded items. Thin like you know, the branded items Italian name make a tibrata, right? Italian name make a tibrata, Havila Dina Lanka. We deliver it up, a gay one, and a quality ticket. So, but the uh, payments are guaranteed. They were doing business for years and years, right? So all these things you have to check, and it is always better to uh, get all this information from the uh, customer before you decide, right? Then we discuss about short term, long term, and medium term financing. Uh, most of the trade finance facilities are short term. 99% of the trade finance facilities are short term. Short term facilities are normally repaid within two years. Right? A trade facility got salmon and kuchar the winning. Trade facility got salmon and kuchar the winning. Six months. Two years. Ah. Uh -huh. Sorry. The next. Kiwa mana dekha mo theerunne. Hundred eighty days. Hundred eighty. Hundred eighty days. Okay. Abey kine mo ga puthe kiwa mo ga dega. Maximum hundred eighty. Ah, maximum hundred eighty days. Maximum hundred eighty days. Yeah. Abey gula kiwa maximum. Uh, generally, ninety one twenty. Ninety one twenty. Very good. Very good. What are you doing? Ninety one twenty. Huh? Ninety business trust. Business trust. Where the branch is? Yeah, yeah, sir. Uh, have lockdown branch. Lockdown. Lockdown. Okay. Very good. Right, normally short term. The medium term is facilities that covers two to five years period. Right? And I, 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 and
Can you can you mute that, please? Magi bana itra kahan na? Adi poye thamai. Ena karanda den na. Okay, thank you. Ta vodyam pute mara bana me me. Classic pertiin thila. Berila wat ugla mara leda thamai dana rahatuna nang magi oluat adi na wale. Lekin da oga dana pa. Right. Uh, can you give me some examples for medium term finance? Trade, na na, na na, ba trade. Or me syndicate loan same na ngayon nipulan two to five years syndicate loan same nipulan. Other than trade, what are the facilities two to five years period? Uh, short term working uh, working capital. Short term working capital. Not, not short term, permanent working capital. Oh, permanent, uh, permanent working capital. You can't do that. You can't do that. You can't do that. Capex. For 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 I had an Ogulo Ogulo gun alone. Medium term finance. Ogulo Bank being Ogulanda Magan never. Vehicle loan. Vehicle leasing. Loan. Leasing. Vehicle loans, leasing gun never. Two to five years. The mic. Longer term can eh? Long term can eh? Long term can eh? Any period in excess of five years. Example? Property loan. Housing loan. Housing loan. Housing loan. Huh? Long term finance, but 99% of uh, project financing is 99% uh, of trade finance loans are short term finance, right? The concept of trade cycle. Take one one to then explain to you, but to uh, just to uh, just go through it, right? All businesses require some working capital. That's the immediately available cash to finance everyday running of a business. That is wages, purchase of material and all those things. So this working capital in any business, it has to be provided by the owners or shareholders of the business. When the owner is the owner of the business, the bank is the owner of the Right? They have to put at least majority. The balance they can borrow from the bank facilities. Right? The working capital financed, this particular working capital finance, the trade cycle, which can be defined as the time period between the start of the supply chain. Time period between the start of the supply chain ordering of raw materials or goods and the receipt of payment from the corresponding sales. Trade cycle. In international trade, the trade cycle is much longer than the domestic trade. Can somebody tell me why is the reason in international trade that Trade cycle is much longer than the domestic trade. Transportation, transportation period. Yes, transportation from uh, distant countries to Sri Lanka and ordering goods from there to here takes a lot of time. If you are buying from locally, it's a very short period, right? So therefore, international trade, trade cycle is much longer than the domestic trade. However, in most cases, it is 180 days or less that we discuss. Then the difference between fresh uh, post shipment and pre shipment, post shipment and pre shipment, right?
four shipment and three shipment finance. First, we'll learn the pre shipment. Pre shipment finance is before you ship the before you ship the manufactured goods. Before you ship the manufactured goods, whatever the finance uh, taken place is pre shipment. The post shipment is. Uh, the money required to finance the exporter between the dispatch of goods and receipt of the payment. Right? Now, for example, um, by ordering raw materials, uh, leather from India uh, and receiving the leather, and then uh, we had to do the payments, right? And then the manufacturing will take about one month, right? Then we will take the goods to the uh, harbor for the export, or we load it to the container for export, right? That is pre shipment or post shipment. That is pre shipment or post shipment. Pre-shipment. That is pre-shipment. Correct. Now, we have shipped the goods to Italy. We have shipped the goods to Italy. It will take about 90 days to receive the money. To get the payment or the proceeds, 90 days. But during that period, you have to pay the staff, you have to pay the rent, you have to pay the taxes, all those things, right? Then for that, you need money, but you will get the money only after 90 days. So what is that finance? Post-shipment finance. Post-shipment. After the shipment, before you get the money, that particular period is post-shipment. Okay? Right. Pre-shipment finance is the money required to finance a business between the commencement of the manufacturing process and the dispatch of goods, right? The other concept we want to know, well, we have to know about this concept. Then only it's easy for you to understand the theory. With recourse and without recourse finance. What do you mean by with recourse finance and without recourse finance? If finance is provided with recourse, then the exporter is legally responsible for repayment of that money. Right? With recourse can be, the exporter is legally responsible for repayment of that money. Normal uh, uh, banking facilities, you have with recourse. Do we have without recourse facilities? Do we have without recourse facilities? Tino, Tino, Papi Ganagata, the Matagane, Sumana, the Higate, Tunagate Kali. Without recourse, that's it. On, on, on 25th July and 1st August, I'm being a cow With recourse facilities. Oh, 
क्या ना पते ऑटो फैसिलिटीज व्हाट फैसिलिटी इज इट बाइंड पर वैर दुर्गा का मन है वाह हर ग्रेट आ रहा है बाइंड तो कहता है कि हम लोगों को बैंक ऐसा नहीं मतलब मतलब तेरे ऐसे नहीं कहीं बंगे हुए आने ओवरड्राफ्ट फैसिलिटीज चीजेस ओडी फैसिलिटीज व्हाट इज इट ओडी फैसिलिटीज ओवरड्राफ्ट फैसिलिटीज ओवरड्राफ्ट फैसिलिटीज ओवरड्राफ्ट फैसिलिटीज विदाउट रिकॉर्ड्स देने में अब क्या दिक्कत है आगे बैंक है क्या बहुत बैंक है क्या क्या नंबर नहीं मैं बोलूँ ये मैं मटे पास से कॉल लेकर दाल मटे ब्रांच है क्या नहीं बैंक है क्या मैं मुझे दे मैं कॉफी लिफ्ट करके वो मांगे ना ओड्रा ड्राफ्ट फैसिलिटी आ गया ना आगे वह मटे विदाउट रिकॉर्ड्स देना वाला ना मामा ओड्रा ड्राफ्ट फैसिलिटी आ गान ना मेरे कॉफी लिफ्ट करेगा मांगे ना आई ने फर्स्ट थिंग इल्ला फैसिलिटी आ किल्ला करना विदाउट रिकॉर्ड्स ठीक है ना कल मागे किसी में रेस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी का नहीं बैंक के रेस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी उड़े तो मैं देने दैट मींस विदाउट रिकॉर्ड्स है ना देना वाले हम वोट ड्राफ्ट का देने ने एक फैसिलिटी का देना वहाँ पे मुकद Documentary credit. Very good. Under documentary credit, when we are negotiating the bill, the the negotiating bank takes a responsibility. Right? Can you remember when the customer gives the, when the exporter gives the documents? Uh, they will negotiate the document. Ne bill negotiation. Ne watch ne use karna na. Bill negotiation under documentary credit. Anna. Without recourse to the customer, if the documents are complied with the terms and conditions of the LC, we will pay you. It's right. If the account is guaranteed, then me bank is customer name, right? There is without recourse facility, right? Okay. Now we'll see types of short-term facilities available to exporters. Luckily, the examiners are me. Ah no. यार मान के गान दी ला एक गान टे 15 मार्क्स दी ला इतने 5 मार्क्स वाले दानों राइट फाइव टाइप्स ऑफ शॉर्ट टर्म फैसिलिटीज अवेलेबल टू एक्सपोर्टर्स तक गाला में भाग लिया भाग लिया वाले का मां इतना आरु गाने लगूने भाग चुवर राइट आखिर सायक के मध्य बना लगूने भाग वो काम पाना सके एग्जाम के पा� ओके लोन ओ ड्राफ्ट देन द लोन ओ ड्राफ्ट सिक्योर्ड बाय एन असाइनमेंट ऑफ द एक्सपोर्टर्स क्रेडिट इंश्योरेंस पॉलिसी एक्सपोर्टर्स क्रेडिट इंश्योरेंस पॉलिसी एक रात के ना स्टेसिक श्रीलंका एक्सपोर्ट क्रेडिट इंश्योरेंस कॉर्पोरेशन इश्यूड सर्टेन पॉलिसीज दिया सिक्योर्ड बाय that they that will secure the exporters exports we go on about the security card we know right then bank special export finance schemes it's another one then discount of collection bills bill advance okay acceptance credit Acceptance credit. When you accept the bill, that is then. Then we give a facility for that. Negotiation of bills drawn under DC. We just discuss. Red cross DCs. Red cross DCs. We advance the money. Right. That is that is also a facility to exporters. Packing credit. Packing credit. Exporter needs money to do the. Uh, and finishing the manufacturing part 
and uh, ready for exports. Take it on a loan that one, banking credit. Export factoring, invoice discounting, we have comma, types of short term facilities for uh, available to exporters. Right? Okay. Security. Now, oh, as a bank, we always give facilities against security. Right? The bank, there are three, always bank wants to have the control of underlying goods in trade transactions so that they can mitigate the risk. Right? Now, methods of taking goods as security, we call it, there are three methods of making goods available as security right first one is mortgage right can anybody tell me the other two trust receipt huh? trust receipt trust receipt yes trust receipt is uh something you can be you can amak you know hurry you can begin a hypothecation. Yeah. Hypothecation loans. Trust receipt comes under hypothecation loans. Very good. And pledge. Pledge. And the other thing is pledge. Right? Mortgage, hypothecation, and pledge. Under mortgage, that means it is a security affected by the creation of transfer of a legal or equitable interest in property or security for payment. They may make good sticker of a mortgage karna bank. Mortgage on stocks and book debts kira gahan wane dega. Facilities dena gatti hai. Mortgage on stocks and book debts. Stocks. My stocks take a mortgage karna ka. How effective? How effective? Normally, when what do you mean by mortgage? Ugas karna ka nige. Samanne ko gula dhan wani ugasakya ni. Right. A big, a big, a big Gangalatino Munar then Gandamag A level pass in a hundred Gamilaku in Sukumakina Reati, Ganagati, Revate, Ergo had a very to the end, Timatan Gaman factory, and they were a comic woman. Midamagina, a name of the Agatha Malagino. The mortgage the property to the polymudrali. They mortgage the property to a polymudrali and the Emratang it must say, give a gun the Beruno Muga the Vinny, near the Ossetta. Give a gun the Beruno Muga the Granny. Hm? Not a proper taker. Legal, legal mortgage, a little thing that will be transferred to the Guy who has lent the money, the lender, they know neither. Eco bank, egg and bank, you get a gun, no, him nothing, polymudalan, polymudalani, you know, and a matia may eco me an aye in a caranda than ne, then Masagana Pahuna, Matata Masikin Giona. It's a rare, I'll be saying it by him, don't know. Right? Eka hurry, mother hake at a hate to her, that is a. 
immovable property. Ye dua nai nai hati me hati. Again, that's an immovable property. That's a good security. Do you think in uh, international trade for stocks is it a uh, good security? Not effective as a property market. Yes. Why? Uh, goods are not always uh, the the stock level does not uh, meet at the the required level for the bank most of the time. Uh, not only totally that. Those so, are fluctuating. Fluctuating. It's a movable. They are movable property. I ask you only again. Mama question like a post karna, I will answer karna. And let's put a. Goods are movable. When the goods are movable, property, there's no point. Make up a dagger in India, Mama. Hurry. Then Oglan custom again, Calambula, a record to take who are NTB have locked down Kilane, and then I got the Nama than never take the time away. NTB have locked down. NTB have locked down the key in the Putaki and the Balanda, Wagi, sure, at my trade customers lately. Only trade customer in Alathi in a apple and grapes. Apple and grapes in Alathi. I have a tone, apple and grapes to me. A bit of a gain of stock again, apple and grapes and Nevati in the Tibet. Brother, you are again a freezer, freezer, freezer facilities in one. Cold rooms in one, a bit of a big and a little bit of onions, bee onions, and potatoes, bee onions and potatoes, get a little and uh, it has been mortgaged to the bank. Can we keep that stuff, the mortgage plan, and other people? What is the name of 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 the ඒමනං <laughs> Because I am going to go to the market. 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 Okay. Mortgage as goods as banking security are very rare and uncommon goods. As goods by their nature should be transitory. From going from one place to another. Right? And the legal cost and the formal documentation needed for each mortgage is very costly and is impractical of taking security over goods. Right? The second one, hyperpication. Hyperpication means it's an agreement to give charge over goods or the documents of title to the goods which are not in the bank's position. Agreement to give charge over the goods. Now the customer will come to the bank and agree and agreement ticket. Okay. These goods are in my warehouse. These goods are in my warehouse. Right? But these goods are owned by you. IT bank quarter. Owned by you. It's a form of application. Right? 
hyper trust is taking the mukadam in me. We use it where the bank has held the goods or their documents of title, but release their goods to the customer. Right? Make a api hypothecation in the you know. Customer have been bought the deal at the but customer has promised that he will sell the goods and repay the uh, bank in it. Right? Make a Honda customers like a Honda tech whenever some other I know play out karma. Trust is it. Right? Because I had uh, several experiences. Hmm? I had one of my customers who was having um, a trust receipt facility with us when I was at Standard Chartered Bank, Colombo. We are Gain ne ekhe ka bado gain ho. Anti mana ganavi apne TR facility the aragatte neva coriander seeds. Coriander seeds ke na kuttamalli kuttamalli consignment ka India wale ke na TR facility the dilo tumar. I have a uh, habit and that's my way of uh, doing things. Ek inda na tamay mara gudak horu. Allah ganda pulang melatih. Mama ya villa, main banku ya tule wari lain hiti ya manager kene kene me. Right? Mama ke customers la monade keran ni kila balu bu manager kene. Padahal orang ke tuan ane ini dite to think innovatively and do the thing. And when you prove that you have done certain things like this. Your manager, uh, big bosses will be very happy. Mr. Samala, the Irishat Karavi, me ya kama te vedi hontra karna hai gela. Na matre ke ne me then, but you are doing your job to the bank. So one day when I visited this customer after lunch, that's the time I always plan it out. My my dad was from plan karna after lunch. Bade karna ne kam me li bilave. I normally get into the vehicle and lage lage nam thiyenne customer lage warehouse es walata yana ida balana pitu kotuye fourth cross street kesa street right second cross street oy patta mon tikak balana ida passe ekip to ekip to balana se me ya sitiye call peti call peti thiyenne ara me elephant house cafeteria ke isran Parat tir mana dah, mana tengah ini temple trees piti pas sengi hilang, betul ni nawan mawat temple trees piti pas sengi kan nawan mawat terlihat mana ada parah, ane parah railway crossing ni kat sini, railway crossing ni kita tu ada macam ni, mama gya, gya mana security sorry storekeeper told me, I said Open the stores. I want to see. Then the security guy uh, or the storekeeper told me, "Sir, make a arrange the bags. I want a local permission no na. Unko local game permission no na. Me stores. I think matter. I matter. On trust. Mom sali di la di me. Mage na matter. But to get me a di na ay kila. Matter balan no na ay kila." Ariemane, he said he wants to talk to the owner. Then he is anyway he spoke to the owner. And then the owner phoned me and told me, uh, "Why, sir, you want to see the thing immediately?" I said, "Yes, now." Sir, so can we arrange the inspection in two days' time? And he said, "Sir, you didn't mention uh, to me, you know, you didn't inform me. Otherwise, I would have come there." Today I am tied up. I said, "Don't come. You don't have to come. Let me check the thing." 
relationship became we gave we warned him and gave him the final chance because he promised to settle the entire loan on the following day morning the following day morning he settled then only we released the thing and told them not to do this type of things again so the hypothecation is 50-50 thing right pledge is a better one pledge is a preferred method of taking security over goods pledge means we do certain banks we do bank of sloan people's bank sampath commercial uh, ntb we mama dani ne ntb i don't know whether you do it right aratik mama danna pledge don't deno we do for uh, uh, paddy and all that in outstation outstation in in tv yeah yeah ah so super okay mukanda putra ga namu asela 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 hoda uttara dunne you do it for paddy right you do it for paddy now api asela ge answer ge me am they are doing it for paddy now that means they put all the Paddy stocks in a customer's warehouse. The bank doesn't have warehouses, so they put paddy in the customer's warehouse, and then customer will put a padlock, and the bank will also put a, another padlock. Now it is pledge. Whenever the customer wants to take the paddy out, they have to inform the bank in advance. so that they will ask then asale will go there to the customers warehouse and with the key bank key and then open and the customer will take one ton of paddy out one ton of paddy out right a gatta gaman he will he will promise that he will settle the bills the one 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 ton will ऑलमोस्ट 
two three years back i went i went to one of the customers uh, stores in almost street a kade athling that kama kade athine podi me me 10 by 20 wage podi kade gannak wage penne e athlata giyama binge ekak sena wage ano ida passe e gin giila wenama kerala kata wetana anipare batu wenne okkoma warehouses athile right etara me gullo me be edala that those people were doing handling steel ोस्ट <laughs> इंटरेस्ट right uh the risk uh difficulties in identifying the goods very important now we'll go back to my previous customer coriander guy right if all well, these customers are multi bank if if he is multi bank and if he is taking uh, goods uh, sorry if he is importing from some other bank bank of salon ntb with the name karana and with me also standard charge we hatra me ya karana ya gene korean de genalla gene gene wa ara stores la stock karala thiyena banks ni pr di ga right uh, so if we if this guy imports goods from various banks and all those goods he doesn't have separate separate warehouse is among the last and look we got here he has done a lot of things so when i go etna gahana ne me import e gahal ne sampat imports mtb imports bank of sloan imports kela all are korean data korean data are eto pata mama gi hama mata peta no sir these are the stuff i am happy because i am this difficulties in identifying the goods संपद मगेवते right or divert the proceeds who he may pledge the goods to some other lender right in order to minimize the risk of loss the bank must closely monitor customers limit positions hence the bank should not permit the tr facilities to customers whose integrity is doubted that's very important tr facilities they know the man right uh oya okama venawa api tr ekak pada me me imports wala de me wenne okama wenawa me export pre ship and finance ekide oka wenawa sometimes we take they take packing credit loans from us they ship and financing again great roads are again they manufacture the goods and they export the goods but they won't settle the loans they divert the money right comparison of trust receipt and pledge loans comparison of trust receipt and pledge loans now trust receipt 
are covered under a statute, Trusted Ordinance of 1947. Trusted Ordinance of 1947, it is covered by a statute. Aknya Parata. You are singing again, Bara so I make a gown in me. Again, they make a powerful instrument. Right? But pledge loans, no separate statute. And has to be dealt under the normal laws of the country. But the pledge loans are dealt with the normal laws of the country. Make a samarata Uganda end up questions, right? Possible questions. Compare and uh, Contrast the trust receipt and pledge loans. In the case, similarity, the differences, Number two, ownership of the good is with the bank. If it is trusted, it, it is owned by the bank. We have given the goods to the customer on trust, but the ownership is with the bank. But pledge loans, ownership of goods is with the borrowing customer. Ownership is with the customer. Right? But we are controlling. Control over the goods is with the customer. Trust is it. We, since we have given the goods on trust to the customer, the control over the goods will be with the customer. But when it comes to pledge loan, right? Control over the goods is with the bank. Until a sailor goes and open the padlock, customer can't take the goods out. Clear? TR has to be registered within land registry within 21 days. Very important. If we are given a TR facility, all these TR facilities has to be registered in the land registry within 21 days. It's a funny thing. Why we register with land registry? Can somebody tell me? Land registry register can the law relating to that one is criminal. The law relating to that one is criminal. To get the priority. Hmm? To get the priority in case some other bank also get uh, their interest registered at the same place. Land register of what? Which land registry? Where are the stores is uh, located? Where yeah, are the stores is located? Excellent. Where are the stores is located? Why? Because we have given the facility to the customer on trust. So they have stored, they have to declare to us, they have stored in this facility at this particular place. I think a copy, a place, a copy land registry, a registry, a non-name, a trust receipt. So you don't have to make a right? Make a theory. If you don't, if you fail to register it within 21 days, do you know that our trust receipt is invalid? A lot of banks are holding these trust receipts. A lot of banks are holding these trust receipts without recording. It's invalid. Just a piece of paper. And if you have registered with the wrong land registry, I'll give you a Nice example. May I pledge loans on him? No, no such registration. When I was at Standard Chartered, uh, normally we get uh, uh, group auditors 
ඔබලන්ට මේ වැඩේ කරන්න බෑ group auditors line group auditors lahama all these guys are about 5 6 guys are coming from the group office um, none of the sri lankans uh, one or two indians one pakistani about two uh, british guys uh, ekko one hong kong guy wage we mix ekatta main audit audit department ekin prime me and then they will start checking all these things now one common thing even our auditors in the our auditors when they come to trade finance department they'll check the trust receipts um regular trust receipts the hack kitara wage numbers wage adunna random sample ekak then they ask us to submit the trust receipts some are already mature then all loan settled maybe the outstanding listing are going to numbers they are not so they want the samples right mang mang audit ek bar kaldu kala thi me dila thi mana officer normally is my way of doing right i interest a separate officer for that when they when they are audit and i released him from other work is only job is to concentrate on the audit then you can reduce lot of errors lot of questions audit findings cover karanna puluwa ngokula ta inne una the signature not verified even in ara manusya ge saakwe thiyena ya article aragena yanakota archives link ganna kota ya ge saakwe thiyena me signature verification stamp ekka bank stamp ekka etakota bank ඉන් පැඩ් එක ඔක්කොම දාගෙන ඉන්නේ ටට්ටක් ගාලා ඉතින් දෙමු බලලා මේක නැත්තම් ගෙහුවා අපි අපිව තම්බන්න බෑ සුද්දන්ට හරි මේ හරි සිස්ටම් ෆුල් ක්ලීන් වන්ස් හි කේම් ටු මී රනින් සේන් දේ බස් මේ පාරන මාට් මොකද මොකද අවුට් ඔෆ් 10 සැම්පල්ස් ට්‍රස්ට් රිසිට් අවයිඩියට්ස් වොට් දේ හැව් ඩන් දේ හැව් send to the wrong land registry instead of sending to gampaha they have sent it to kalambu land registry so they have written right so some of the loans one or two loans were still outstanding others were uh, already paid luckily already paid right have anything up in lanka we ban land registry ටියාර් කරන්නේ කට්ටිය බලන්න දැන් මම ඒගොල්ලෝ ගහලා එවනවා ලියා පදිංචි කර ඇත කියලා සීල් එක ගහලා අස්සන් කරනවා දැස් සෞ දී ඩූ රයිට් දැන් මේක දිත් මේගොල්ලෝ ගහලා තියෙනවා හැබැයි අපේ ලංකා මිනිසුන්ගේ එක හොඳක් තියෙනවා ලියා පදිංචි කළේ නැත්නම් ඒකත් ගහලා එවනවා ඒක ගහලා තියෙනවා මේ ලියා පදිංචි කර නැමැත අදාළ කාර්යාලයට යොමු කරන්න. සිංගරෙන්න ගහන්නේ. මේ ලියා පදිංචි කර නොමැත. අදාළ කාර්යාලයට යොමු කරන්න. හැබැයි සීල් එක ගහලා අසන්න. මගේ වෙලාවට අර එක ඔඩිට ගෙන ට්‍රස්ට් සිංහල බෑනේ. මම සිංගරෙන්න ගහලා තියෙන්නේ. අංකව ප්‍රශ්නයක් නැව දීපන් කියලා. එතන ගියා. දීලා අර එක එක ශාස්ත්‍ර එකක් කිට ඇවිල්ලා ගියා. මේ මොකද මේ ඔක්කොම වයි most some uh be one line some are two lines what is it killer they remain once all are registered you can see the uh, seal yeah all registered but don't you know with different different clubs uh different different clubs are uh, uh, handling these things some are writing short stories some are writing novels what can i do ආ රයිට් ඔකේ ඔකේ තැන්ක් යු වෙරි මච් ෆෝ ගියා ඉට්ස් රයිට් ඊට පස්සේ මම ඉතින් අර ප්‍රෙප් එක අවල්ලගෙන හොඳටම බෙන්නා ඒ මගේ තව පොඩි මගේ ත්‍රස්සාව ගහලා එනවනේ ඉතින් ඔතන ලොකු ඉෂු එකක් තියෙනවා මේ 21 days ඉෂු එක when you are in branches when you are in if you are handling be careful ඔකම කියන්නේ රයිට් දැන් ඩිෆෝල්ට් අන්ඩර් ටී ආර් ඩෝන් is a criminal offense because it is under a 
statute. Because of that, it is a criminal offence. Has to be reported to police for them to take action. We are default at man policing that can never go on. Because under a statute, again a uh, check frauds. Are we to report to police or not? Checks, checks are governed under financial act. Criminal act uh, Financial act again in the financial act again in the criminal offence. We have to report it to police, right? But default under a pledge loan is a civil offence. Bank will have to file a civil action. Other manusya. That's a, we can file a case. We, obviously, we have to file a, 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 a police entry at the end of but it's a civil offense. PR loans are granted to customers whose credit risk is not high. Credit risk card high nati and the customers of the mighty are then. If the customer's credit risk is high, then we can give pledge loans because we are having a better control. Right? Right. Comparison that cow was Liagan. Right. Import facilities. There are three generic products may be made available under an import line. One is documentary credit. We had to give facilities for documentary credit. But again, facilities some other that they know any assist are in. Then structured post shipment finance. Then post shipment finance. Bill purchase, right? Bill purchase facilities. But then they know shipping guarantees. You are better. Then they know facilities. Okay, then no now that imports. Uh, when you open a LC, then we have a when you open LC, we will mark the LC under a cash cover or under cash cover or uh, what do you call this? Uh, uh, facility right it depends on the risk we are going to have right and when we receive the documents not the goods huh? when we receive the documents then we reverse the LC liability we reverse the LC liability and transfer it to BR liability bills receivable right earlier we have a LC liability, right? A debit LC liability. Then when it receives, then we what we do is we credit BR liability. Sorry, we credit LC liability and debit BR liability. We take them a double entry, right? Are contract debit debit liability when we receive the bills, we credit LC liability so that the LC liability will be nullified. And then we create BR liability. Again, debit again, right? DCs are shown as a contingent liabilities on the bank's balance sheet. Why we said contingent? Why we said contingent? Contingent liability care then make on the plus As bankers, if somebody asks you why, LC is contingent liability. LC is contingent liability can hey. Again, you have to go back to the basics. When we open a LC, the definition of LC is if the documents are complied with the terms and conditions of the LC. Then over Katapadamin, the Matakatapadam or Gimatamai. 
if the documents are complied with the terms and conditions of the LC, we will pay. So it is, is there a condition or not? Is there a condition or not under LC? Is there a condition or not? Hmm? Condition like that, you know, then at the end of the Come on. Where are you? I say, you know, come. I want to get my mother to get my hand. I need to get my To pay under the LC, is there a condition? Yes, there is a condition. Yes. There is a condition. What is it? What is the condition? Has to be complied according to the rules and regulations. Super. The documents has to be complied with the terms and conditions of the LC. Then only we'll pay. That is why we call it a contingent liability. Contingent liability. When the pullman, when that pullman, when that pullman. But when we receive the bills. If the bills are complied, if the bills are complied with the terms and conditions of the LC, we check now. Then this contingent liability will be transferred to a real liability. Real liability, as we have to pay the exporters back. At that point only, the contingent liability will be uh, converted to real liability. Right? The BR are settled either by cash or some form of post-import finance.